back by popular demand. It's not another podcast. Oh, the no. only podcast. That should have been canceled a year ago. That should have been canceled after episode two. Oh, boy. 20, two? 20 episodes. Eh, the first 20? one's all right. 20. Well, technically, we're behind a couple episodes, aren't we? Mm. Yeah, we but you should... don't count the ones that didn't exist or never existed. Get under oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, shit. That as guy much, was hype. As much as I want to listen to Big Blast Sonic, which should have been the opening theme to Exerd yeah. over Heavy Day, oh, even yeah. though Heavy Day is fantastic. Um, All right, let's see if uh, Max can finagle shut, himself shut, around shut here. Up. Oh, here he goes. Shut, oh, doing his, doing his it. cute little pajamas. No, here he comes. My shirt says, oh, dear, and it's Scott Antler. <laughs> 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 the holiday p- oh. pajama is still getting play. I okay, so I was singing the Eminem song. You okay? So before we started the podcast, f- we were just we were just you know warming up as we do, and Phil sang two full verses of Eminem of um. How do I? What the hell's his name? How do I watch? The, how do I watch the stream? Oh, so see it. yeah, here. Uh, no, I'll I'll take care of it. Do you do that? Phil Phil started singing like. Two full verses of uh, what's the song from the from the movie? I guess lose yourself. Lose yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Two whole verses, and then I followed it up with a bit, and he's like, "What are you talking about, you weirdo?" And he said, and, and you, he said, "I, I had sat there and sang the two verses. I have no recollection no, of, of this all, at all, whatsoever. None. It is literally two seconds in, and I, and I, I must have blacked out. Like I just, like there's some fucking sleeper that's, cell. That's like you saw, that's the code. I was saying, you, you saw white. Uh." I like how the first chat thing that pops up on our screen is is Robo being a. I don't believe this it. podcast is still going. Yeah. Not I can't believe. I don't believe this. The podcast you he are is, watching he is right proactive, now. He is proactively doing everything in his power to not admit that he is actually here listening to us speak, denying the the mere existence of this audio podcast. Well, I guess that means we can do whatever we want, right? That's true. We could just literally be. We, we can just do exactly what we want forever. Before no, before we get too far away for it, I would just okay. like to mention that the Midnight Carnival is a pretty pretty great subtitle for your fighting game, right? But what doesn't is make the any, Midnight? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. No. Did they ever go over what the Midnight Carnival was? No, it's a collection of English words that sound really sick when the, you put them together. I get, yeah, uh, sure. But it also sounds like a fucking Skinamax movie. Yeah, so, like, it, the, there's that, I guess. It sure does. <laughs> because, I mean, it, I would think that out of all fucking um, fighting games or, or just, you know, all sorts of works of fiction that use really silly, stupid combinations of English words, like, they have an explanation for the backyard. They don't have an explanation for what the Midnight Carnival is? Like, it has nothing to do with justice or anything like that? I, 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 I could not tell you what the central fiction actually is. Oh, boy. I can tell you what the Calamity Trigger is. The though. Calamity so Trigger, yeah, fair. makes sense. Well, what's the next one in that one? Um, it, it goes Calamity Trigger, and then Continuum Shift, and then which Chrono can, Phantasma. Which, all of, all of those things, you could basically maybe surmise some kind of... Yeah. Uh, thing out of, but I don't know. Definitely going to name my child Chrono Phantasma. I don't think that's going to roll off the tongue as much as you think it's Chrono going Phantasma to. Chrono Phantasma and Midnight Carnival. I really don't. I, I don't know how you could even potentially fuck that up, but that does sound like something where... You could call him I, Chrono. You're going to call your kid Chrono? Yeah. I, yeah. Not a great, not great historical... No, um, no, the, the implication in that name. Yeah, the implication behind that, mm, hard no on that one. Yeah. Ugh. You're into eating kids? Is that what it's all about? But uh, yeah, no, we are we are in twenty episodes in. Mm-hmm. Finally got to use XX. Um, <laughs> and this is this is where you blow your load. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, yeah, this is it. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> this is this is the peak. Is this is this? Here's another question. Is this actually going to be the podcast that we put up on YouTube and just skip a few episodes? Because I think no. We okay. We only skipped one episode technically on YouTube. Yeah, they'll both go up. Yeah, I know. Oh, so you have both? Oh, yeah, I have both. Okay. Yeah, I have to edit the other one though. Right. Yeah, it, it's got it's got pretty pretty weird problem. We had to like stop during it, but um, no, this one should not have that issue. Good, because um, we don't have a we didn't have a guest. We, didn't have, we had a guest, right? No, no, it was internet issues. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, 
But hey, it's <sighs> been a while. It is a new year, the year 2019. I want to say it's almost been an entire month since we've actually done anything podcast wise. I 100% guarantee it's more than a month. Mm hmm. So. What what have you been getting up to? What have, you, oh, what have man. you been watching and or listening to and or playing? Oh man, I'll tell you what. Uh not a whole lot as of right now. Damn it, I gave you a month. You did. I kept canceling so that you could <laughs> I could watch, watch something. Watch I feel like uh, what I did watch something relatively recently. Uh, but I just I can't for the life of me fucking remember. Like anything that I do end up watching is pretty much on YouTube anyway. Mm -hmm. So I I guess I just watched more of uh, what's that gentleman's name? The guy who does all the down the rabbit hole videos. I do not know his name. Um, he's called down the rabbit Frederick hole. Nudson, I think, is his YouTube account. Yeah. Um, and he just recently released a really good, uh, good one on the Temple OS, which is uh, this OS that was made by a guy who was pretty much like insane. He had, I yeah. think, it's schizophrenia. 100% it's schizophrenia. Um, and he he said it, he used it to speak with God. Mm -hmm. That is the most... I thought the Final Fantasy VII house was wild. That was the most wild 50 minutes of my life. Yeah. Because it just goes... It's, it's like an hour and 20 minutes, actually. It's yeah. A, it's feature length. Mm -hmm. um, and I started that one while I was at work. Ooh. Don't do... Did you start it? Did you play it out loud? Yeah, I was the only one there. Oh, oof. Oh. But, like, don't watch that one... With the with 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 Chrono Phantasma around, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, headphones best enjoyed with headphones. Um, but yeah, no, down the rabbit hole continues to be one of the most interesting channels to watch because they actually have content. Because they actually but, have content. I you know, I actually okay. So we're we'll bring this up at some point. It's on the new, the docket for news. There's well, I one hundred percent have a segue way, for it already. Yeah, because here's the thing: is that we already have like. Like all this smidge, like smash of news and shit like that. We're just gonna be scrolling through because I didn't like I have like any particular order that we were gonna present it in. Yeah. And I actually like I actually thought about that like last minute, so it's all the way at the bottom. But I just wanted to bring it up and make sure that we did bring it up. Yeah, but, but we will. Uh oh, that's not at the bottom. We'll get there. I guess. I guess it really has just been like waiting and playing a lot of games um, offhand. Kind of yeah. like I've already been playing, just waiting for 2019 to show up. And 2019's finally here. Yeah. And I think we just started yesterday with the onslaught of just banger after banger after banger. So Tales of Asperia came out. We didn't buy it uh, because I have no stake in Tales. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, there's just too many games coming out in the span of all of these months. That it's we are probably I'm gonna definitely make some sacrifices like in terms There's... of survivability. Bills no, but like, uh, I mean because we got what the fucking this month alone is Resident Evil Ace Combat Kingdom Hearts, yeah, and then next month is Guided Your Three, and then I I just signed up for the fifteen dollars a month thing for EA. Okay, so I have a, I have I'm gonna be able to play Anthem. Mm -hmm. Just to see, just to try it out, just to like have it and see yeah. if it's actually gonna be worth my time. Dead or Alive as well is February. Yeah, pushback. So oh, that's no, it got pushed back to March. So I guess in terms of playing, like the most recent, like oh okay, the the three most recent things that we went over on the channel, or the two we went on the channel, one we I just played offline. Uh, Resident Evil Two demo. Yep. Super good. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Not as comprehensive as people made it as they made it out to be. It certainly does feel like it's the first half of that like game, like there like when you get to that section, that's what that section's gonna be like. Yeah. But you can beat the demo in less than three minutes. Yeah, if you just uh, beeline. If you just beeline, and I and I was like walking walking around trying to find, and there's like maybe one thing you can find like really go out of your way to get, which is the shotgun. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh. Other than that, like uh, someone, uh, Jesus was able to link me a trainer, and I was able to just basically play the go through the whole demo. And I was like hoping maybe that there was to be some secrets found in there. Yeah, he hired you a trainer so that he could tell you how to get through the demo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was um, very kind of him. Mm -hmm. But you know, I was able to like, basically spend an hour playing that demo, and we didn't really find anything else. Uh, but we did fuck around with the combat. That's gonna be. 
I, that's going to be a hard game for you to play if you actually play, because yeah. I know you really don't like gore. I will be playing the demo at some point later tonight. <laughs> yeah. And just having a, a real ball of a time. Play the Japanese version. <laughs> they completely... I mean, you can't dismember limbs in the Japanese version. It's no. really bad. No, I should be fine. Um, It'll be good. Uh, it's super fun. I, I can't wait. It obviously... Just from like the, the way that the game feels, both on console and PC, I was able to... Uh, I played the PC version on stream. I was able to play the console version uh, afterwards, and I I just I have I I bought the console version. I'm kind of in between thinking about whether or not I'll just use that money to buy a Steam card. Mm -hmm. But I I don't know. I, I I also hear that there has been some data mining, and there's apparently this mode called Rogue, which they said has things like extra costumes and warp gates. So this game might it might be this game's mercenaries mode that may or may not be multiplayer. Sounds like so I mean that there's a lot of crazy shit coming into yeah. the forefront from the just from the data mining of the PC demo alone. Yeah. Um. So I'm very excited for that game. Uh. We pl I played and then after that the God Eater three demo came out. I've already been playing God Eater three. Mm -hmm. I have the 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 non limited time demo, where the Japanese version. Yeah. This one is like the limited time demo, and it almost feels exactly like the same demo we got first back in October. Yeah, it's just now in English. Yeah, so now which was bad because it has the same problem with like input latency and stuff like that. Oh. And I don't know. I don't know if that's just something they haven't fixed yet or whatever. Do you but feel it in the other Japanese demo? That's I, it not runs faster a little bit. Like you, your your inputs don't take as much, but like if you. If I showed you, you you'll see like it takes almost a half second to get to like an action, Eesh. which is not good considering an entire mechanic in that game is built around the fact of perfect like just guarding. Yeah. So that's a thing that sucks. Um, and then the Dead or Alive beta came out, and I've been playing that a little bit today. I will touch on that. I played a couple matches before the podcast. Right. Did you encounter the glitch I had? No. What I did encounter was the very first time I've ever seen loading screens between rounds. Yeah. Like, usually, like, it only, like, it would show up for, like, a split second during most of my matches, but there was one match where I waited 30 seconds between rounds. Yeah. So that game's got a little bit of work. I'm happy they delayed it now. Because they clearly recognize that, and yeah. they're doing multiple betas to like iron things out. So you know, but other like than that, other very fun. Yeah. yeah, you could do that. But uh, no, it was super fun. Still, Hell yeah. Dead or Alive is is a fun game. I actually just picked up uh, all the fighters for five because I've been meaning to do that. So good to I'll, I'll try that out sometime soon. It's a super fun game. I kept running into a really really awful glitch. That essentially, I if I connected to somebody who had a less than stellar connection, the game would just kick him out, but not tell me, and it would give me control of his character, and I end up kicking my own ass. Yeah, I showed Max, and he was like, "Oh, oh okay. that's a that's a really cool bug." I've, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've never seen that. I've never seen <laughs> a bug like that. I tried recording it. My fucking capture card is just. Not allowing me to record anything. I guess it's the it's a driver issue. Oh jeez. So uh, that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, and then, yeah, I, I I in terms of like playing anything, it's really just been like watching Kingdom Hearts leaks and salivating over yeah. both RE2 and Kingdom Hearts and just waiting for it. And then, in terms of listening, uh, this dude named Logan Mashups that someone introduced me to on the stream the other day did a really cool matchup of the uh, tre Treasure by Bruno and Hard Times by Paramore. It's, it, they almost, it's one of those matchups that you're like, this God, is, this, th was this, the song. this is the song. Like, yeah. this is crazy how good, how fucking good this, this looks or uh, sounds. And then uh, No Mana and IO are two artists that I think I've brought up before on the podcast that have just recently released a lot of, uh, lot of stuff yeah. at the beginning of the year. Good, good techno and progressive house, if you're into that kind of stuff. And then I picked up a band that I guess, or it's a person, I don't know just yet. I'm, i got to look more into them. Lichens, L-I-C-H-E-N-S. They are a super atmospheric, like, very, it's very hard to explain, but it's like the kind of shit that you see or you hear in, like, dream sequences in certain movies and stuff like oh, that. It's very okay. nice and very 
melodic but also kind of like somber and i was like this is this is cool shit yeah. and it was very inspiring like just from a writing standpoint i was like i could write something to this this is really good that's good uh but yeah no nothing that, other than that no, that's it and i've just been patiently awaiting fucking 2019 Oh, you meant to ask when you played the KS3 demo, would you get it running on the... Oh, yeah. We so can we, totally talk about the KS3 yeah, demo as well, because we, we forgot about that. made content for it. Yeah. Um, but uh, we will get to that, I suppose. That, yeah. That can be news docket. We can, well, we have something on the news docket with KH3, so we'll get um, there. Yeah. Um, as far as what I've been doing, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 2 on Critical, just trying to level up and power through the game, because we're going to be streaming uh, Cavern of Remembrance, because mm -hmm. I've never done that before. Uh, and all the um, Echo organization fights, mirror, whatever they're called. Yeah, data fights. Uh, the data fights, that's it, that's the word. Uh, really, really love Kingdom Hearts 2. Combat's really good, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Got all my favorite abilities on, all of them. Uh, retaliating Slash, real standout. <laughs> I, yeah, I um, swear to God. I showed up, and I'm like... <laughs> Cause, cause my thing is, is in like video games, I, I always like tend to generally try to go for the like the meta build or the best yeah. build in a game because that's how I have fun. I want all uh, every. He all max of it. turns on every single fucking ability yeah. he unlocks, so I have it ready, ready to go. Right, but it also muddies up the fucking interface. You know that, right? Nah. Like it, it completely overrides certain mm. buttons when you do that. No. Nah. Well, the game knows what's best. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's made it out of absolutely It's made does. out That's of That's why math. you were getting your ass beat. That's not true. That's exactly what I, it was. I could have done it, yeah. Rox's fight still probably one of the best fights. It's Thanks, a really Final good Mix. fight. Um, other than that, just been kind of playing, you know, the, the same stuff that's been in my wheelhouse. A lot of Soul Calibur. Uh, 2B is really fun. I don't know if I got to mention that in the last podcast because I don't remember when that was. Um, uh, picked up uh, the DLC... <laughs> For um, for a certain series of games that we I may or may not be doing something with, um, played Rondo of Blood a little bit. Really? Um, oh yeah, I watched it and you watched playing yeah. that. Yeah, uh, very good. I think it's. I I don't. I really want to love Castlevania so much. That's a series I want to like just enjoy immensely. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 tough. But I'm trying to force my way through that one at least. After playing Symphony of the Night I, and going back to Rondo of Blood, I was like. Yeah, you know, uh, it, had I played the older Castlevanias, maybe I would have been more into them. But uh, yeah, but um, but that does transition pretty well into what I've been listening to. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Castlevania music ah. and a lot of Rondo of Blood music. Oh man, you really got it. Because have you the, watched the series yet is super good. No, I haven't finished it. That's <sighs> that's on my to do list now that I'm back. Um, oh, I, I guess no, I already did Castlevania. I watched it three hundred times already. Never yeah. mind. Um. But I, uh, I have been listening to Castlevania music so much to the point that I am now trying to learn Bloody Tears on the piano. Oh. And I've got the I, I've got the main part down. Is that why? Because I I remember you came back from like I think it was during the the Christmas break and um no he shows up and he just has a fucking keyboard in hand. I'm like, what is what are you? What's that for? No, I I originally had it in my other apartment, but my sister had wanted to learn how to play the piano, so I. Brought it back down one of the times I visited down south, and <sighs> apparently she played it once, and then nobody ever touched it again. So my parents have just been just like, you know, you used to love playing the piano. You should take it back with you. And eventually, mm -hmm. I was like, all right, I'll take the fucking thing back. All right, goddamn it. Um, and I, I did want to play around with it a little more, but that's mostly what I've been playing. Um, I recently redid my my Spotify up again subscription. Trying to balance out weeb shit and real shit mm. uh, as much as I can. Been going through a lot of their like um, their curated like playlists and okay. stuff for genres. Uh, Listen to a lot of just like the acid jazz ones and stuff like that. Uh, there's one that is just acid jazz backing tracks with or beats with uh, with rap, and then that made me realize like, hey. Feel like a tribe called Quest is a is a group made for me. Yeah, they're really good. So I listen to that because I've been driving a lot mm -hmm. back and forth. Yeah, yeah. As have. you know, mm -hmm. um, which um, which that has been immensely helpful for. Uh, as far as watching, I'm not going to talk about anime too much because after this podcast, I plan on doing a stream where we're, we're basically going to discuss the whole year. 
uh, people on YouTube that will also be uploaded there. Um, Robo came over, or he was in a stream yesterday, and he was like, I'd ask you about the anime thing, but you don't watch any. And I was like, hey, well, wait a minute. Let me take a look. And the first thing I saw was like, well, I watched all these. Um, what, for the Crunchyroll yeah. awards? I was like, and I, the first award I saw. What? No, yeah. The first award I saw was like, I watched almost all of these. Which one? Uh, I forget. Oh, I think it was Best Animation. Like I, I had seen an episode each of either one of them. Oh, you've almost... seen an episode each. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. They put a lot of the budget in the first episode. So well, I, I mean, Devilman Crybaby was on there, and I finished Fair that enough, in a day. You did watch Devil and I, we As did almost I. finished Megalo Box. You all, yeah. So, so um, at some point, I'll have to finish that. Yeah, I know. It's uh, literally right here in the living room. For for me, all the time. I know. For me, it was a toss up between. I guess the only thing I can really talk about is a toss up between uh, the three Devilman Crybaby, Megalobox, and Violet Evergarden in terms of best animation. And I think that. Violet Evergarden <laughs> fucking gets it. I, I, Devilman is huge, very creative. I'm a huge creativity over just pure quality. Yeah. And like Devilman Crybaby wins it out. If it, but it totally beat the like, Violet Evergarden totally beats a shit out of everyone in terms of just pure quality. Yeah. But it's also not that great, so. I haven't watched that yet. I'm doing that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Finished. Uh, finished. Bunny Girl. Right when. Um. Right when Phil walked in. Or. Uh, Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Which yeah. Is short, which probably has my favorite shorthand ever. <laughs> Wascally Wabbit. Oh wow. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Uh, um, I sat and watched the final episode, and I was like. This is really like it's really hard to come in on that episode. Yeah, it's, well, no, no shit. But like, it, it's also like super melodramatic, and and then like a lot of people have been talking about the interaction between the two uh, main protagonists of the the main guy. You didn't and the main get girl. any of it, right? And you I'm like and I'm trying all. to like, but even with like the the small bits and pieces I have seen like in clips and stuff like that, it's like this is a strangely apathetic relationship. It's incredibly apathetic. <laughs> Like this is a super like how are people like getting super moved by this and I and you say it's really good because so I'll take the, the word for it again but. by episode it, episode three is the one okay one hundred percent um but uh, yeah finish that I'll probably finish release the spice before the stream tonight and then that'll pretty me pretty much be everything I wanted to watch from this season done so I'll be able to talk about it other than that I've also been watching uh Brooklyn Nine Nine. Got yeah, it's weird. As well, yeah, you've been coming in, and there's been like human beings on the screen. Yeah, and I was like, "What are you fucking doing?" <laughs> um, uh, a friend of mine was like, "Max, watch Brooklyn Nine Nine," and I'm a huge pushover, so I did. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. I've heard really good things about it. At some point, well, you Three. have Hulu now. We also have Hulu. We have everything. Okay, so now. we. Li I literally don't. I have just an put the Amazon Prime like. Like stuff in as well, right? I Everything is here. Everybody is here. Everybody is here. I literally don't have an excuse, because I mean um, I don't know. It, it just when it comes to watching shit, like I need something like a Castlevania where it's gonna grip me in the first episode. Yeah. If it doesn't, if it doesn't like have me by the balls like that for that fucking thing had me there in the first two minutes. Yeah. The interaction between Lisa and Dracula is like, I'm in love with these characters already. They're the best. Yeah, Holy Dracula shit. Dracula is the best. What a hero. Oh, God. Um, but, uh, yeah, and yeah, I mean, obviously, Brooklyn Nine-Nine doesn't do that because it's a sitcom. Yeah. But it's fu It's pretty funny. Yeah. Pretty fucking funny. Um, oh, sorry. There was one more thing I've been playing. Uh, Smash came out <laughs> since we Oh, done right. This. I can, well, you've been playing Smash. I've been kind of looking at people playing Smash. So uh, here's, the, here's the skinny. Probably my favorite Smash game. <laughs> World of Light sucks. Oh yeah, I I think it's that's generally what everyone else has been saying is that World yeah, of Light is new, a tedious fucking new grind. opinion coming in. But um as much as I love playing, oh, I get it. It doesn't carry a like near 20 hour campaign. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I had gotten to the end of the first map and I saw the second map and there are three maps I was like, mm, I'll just do the spirit board. And the spirit board's fun because it's it's really quick. But, yeah. The game itself, Smash Ultimate, is probably the best feeling Smash to me. I love it. I love all the all the new characters. Except for Ridley. Poor Ridley. I when whenever we play, I've had a really good time, but I've been uh my boy Mike is um 
he lives here now. He moved over here again mm. uh, as he's trying to find a job. And he has started up a, like a smash night at his house. Oh. And I'm thinking like, oh, okay, cool. No, he. I forget. He used to be uberly competitive. Yeah. And like, and so he just plays. Well, when he was over the other it's night, it was really good. Yeah. Well, not not really good. It's just the fact that he also no, only plays one on ones. Oh. So yeah, like, I... so seven people will show up, and it'll be like one on ones, and I'll be like, "Come on, bro." No. Like, See, I'm 100 percent like one on one. Like I, even I just... when I was playing online with like like people from you know like Kenny and all that. Yeah. Playing four player matches, I I I get too lost. Like it's just eh, as too much shit. It's happening. fucking Smash though. I know. Like it, to to me, Smash is never gonna fucking. I know so many people. We've had this conversation ten times over. It's 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 a competitive game. I get it. Smash is still like dumb. Put on the items and have fun for me. That that's I can have fun see, both ways. See, but I'm like, not all the way on the competitive side. Like I, I don't I don't have a main in Smash because I figure the moment I do that it'll stop being fun for me. Right. But I'm also like, there's certain things in general I prefer one on one stuff more than team games. And even if it's like a four player free for all, right? You're gonna gang up on fucking people. I yeah, but that's and, what to me that's why it's so fun though. Like yeah. I I like the actual party aspect of it. Yeah. And it's not like because like when you play like a regular fighting game like I'm I get that. But, like, Smash is just not – it is, at its core, still a fucking party game. And there's – the fact that there is all of these amazing and cool systems at play that nobody uses because, quote-unquote, it's not tournament legal. Yeah. It's like it shits on all the work that those people fucking do to make a game that's fun. And I'm like, I, I just want to fucking uh, have fun. Like, I guess, I I guess that's it. I, I, the random – a lot of the random parts I just don't find as fun. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of the other mechanics in there, like Smash Meter is great. Smash Meter should be legal all the time. And um, and it's not. So you're, Max, you're not on the competitive side because you shower. Exactly. Yeah. I plan on taking a shower tonight. I do too. <laughs> as, uh, a, as I do every day. Speaking of which, can I, did I... I told you that story about a particular friend of ours who, who went to a who convention. Shower. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think I could get away with saying that? Well, uh, I don't remember exactly because now I'm thinking of a different story I heard on a podcast, which was okay, my well, transition. I, I won't say the friend because I guess I don't want to implicate them, but yeah. I had a good friend of mine tell me that, uh, you know, they went to a convention and they, you know, were a guest. Yeah. So they had shown up and uh, they, I guess they were going to some sort of event and they... They were brought by a bunch of people, and, and he said he got into the the, the limo. Oh, okay, yes, with, with all the Smash players, and we were talking about like <laughs> just the Smash dynamic and all that like, sort of shit. And, we, and I think I brought up the fact of like them not showering, and he goes, "Oh, dude, being in a limo full of competitive Smash players, this one fucking guy, I think his name was like Lunchbox, Lunchbox <laughs> or something, was the smelliest motherfucker there." And uh. I started. Dying laughing. Yeah, it was, was like so good because it just to me you think like okay so Hungry Box and Mewtwo King they they shower I mean they they look like nerds but they're they look normal they must they right? must shower right, right. no, no. <laughs> apparently not apparently you don't take all those tournament winnings and put it into in Irish Springs speed stick <laughs> speed stick uh, uh yeah, yeah. hard call out some. Not a every podcast. week, every podcast. I don't care. Shower. Every, I don't fuck off. Shower. Every, There's. I don't care how offended you get. You don't look. I haven't showered. I smell kind of, and I feel already self conscious. And I'm only, and I'm in my own house. Yeah. Like I haven't showered since yesterday, and I feel fucking weird. I want to shower. I went and put deodorant on before the podcast, <laughs> just so I would sound clean. <laughs> <laughs> um. But uh. But yeah. No. Uh. But having having fun with Smash Bathe. still having having a, having a real hoot, uh, and then the last very last thing I did, which will be our transition to our first story, um, oh, episode man. one of Castle Super Beast came out. The podcast, so let's do it. Pat and Willie's podcast. Um, the clips that have been coming out of it are are really funny. It um, was a very good podcast. Yeah. And unfortunately, our first story, this happened over the break. Everyone here 100% knows none of this is news. But yeah. fortunately, the best friends uh, disbanded after nine years of valiant service. Um, 
they're all working on their own stuff and they're all they're all you know I feel real like really finding themselves in their own content, which is great. Wooly has just started going full force into just a bunch of playthroughs on his channel. Uh, his personal podcast, Wooly will figure it out. Super great. Very personal. Very personal. Very personal podcast. Um, Pat very streams cool are always hilarious. Matt is getting into very heavily edited content. That's all really good. So Liam still does stuff. Liam streams. Liam streams. And, and I feel like Liam, unfortunately, is the... The one that kind of lost out the most because with like with Matt, so Matt's adopting a more video essay format, yeah. and like a lot of them are are pretty strong. Like what happened is really good. What happens good? What happens really fun? Uh, Wooly's a shit posting god. Yep. It doesn't matter. Like that man, I a hundred percent coming out of the out of the back of it. Like that man was the backbone of the Zaibatsu the whole fucking time. Yep. That man is the only He's reason the, the Zaibatsu like started and lasted as long as it fucking did, you. and you can tell that like a good portion of the creative force behind it was immediate was mainly Wooly. So it's good to see that like that Pat and him were still really good friends because Chewy and Fuckface is like it's, yeah, it, the only duo rivaled by that is us now, and yeah. now that they're go- now that they're gone, we can no yeah, longer we, we have, can't we are twenty we episodes steal, up on them. We can't steal it from them anymore. So now we have to just come up with our own personalities, and it's, that's terrible. It's really rough out it's here. Super rough for a maybe content creator out here. Uh, but, Halfway uh, content, almost. What do we call it? Almost content. Almost content. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, they're all doing their own things. They all seem to be enjoying their own things uh, at t- the end of the day. You know, I miss having an hour of content to watch every day, but mm-hmm. not, nah, I don't want it. I don't want it if it's at the I, expense of, so I haven't been like, so the thing is, I didn't, I didn't watch it all the time, Yeah. but there was always something incredibly comforting about coming to my sub box and seeing a new playthrough. Yeah. Because every now and then I'd be like, okay, well I, I need something to fall asleep to and I'll turn it on. Uh, or I'll just be like, I just want to watch it just to have something in the background. I, I now realize that the abundance of people that I have subscribed to, I I want nothing to do with. Yep. I want absolutely nothing to do with half of these people. And I think I've subscribed to them out, out of like, just like a, like a, oh, they have one cool video, subscribe. Yeah. And like a, and like a good portion of their fucking shit, I'm just like, this is not fun for me. I, I, I legit have to, I've had been, been having to for the last month and a half seek out content that's even remotely enjoyable mm-hmm. and it's been very strange to me to think wow they're they were like just my go-to like for like every day it would be like and i know there's like the old videos now but there's something so strange about going back and lo- looking at those videos and thinking this is never going to happen again yeah and it just it feels weird to go back to fisticuffs and be like oh i'm so excited like also the meme of anything to get out of Smash is my favorite. Is anything goddamn to get favorite. Out of Smash. Um, uh, you know, it, it's it's amazing. Um, but it the, the it was is, it was like we both woke up to it. I woke up to it and, and I immediately woke, fucking ran yeah, out. Yeah. Woke him up, and we both had the same just stupid look on our face of just shock and awe. Because it's like you don't think about like stuff like that because it's you, you kind of take that shit for granted. One hundred percent. You're like, oh, they'll never fucking. It's like your favorite band breaking up. You're like, that's never gonna happen. They're so successful. What what could possibly break them apart? Well, and then the 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 the, the bomb of Matt and Pat are no longer friends. Like, well, it's holy the shit. idea of like. Obviously, this can't last forever, but it'll still go on for another while. Right. Like, we'll get a nice build up to it, and it's like, nope, next day, nope, we're done. Yeah, which was, you know, so, which which was really the, the kind of capper, I feel like, for me personally, of like, man, 2018 was a fucking shitty, wild year, but 2019 is starting off brilliantly yeah. so far. I think 2019 may be the year. It may be the glow up. I'm oh, going to call hopefully. it the glow up. Will it be 2017 too? Oh, fuck yeah. I think I think it's going to blow the fucking uh, seven, uh, 2017 out of the water. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, 2017. The YouTube ju- – no, it's not It's not a bubble. The YouTube bubbles, it's not – that doesn't exist. No. <laughs> if the bubble – if you wanted the bubble to pop, it would have popped around 2011. Sorry, I'm, we're, we're, I'm responding to Robo. We have the chat up on the TV yeah. screen. 
Uh, if you wanted the YouTube quote unquote bubble to pop, that was years ago. Like YouTube is a part of people's lives now. It's just not going to leave anymore. No. It, this is where content's going. Oh, that was the other thing is that you're talking about not having people in your sub box that you care about. All of the people in my sub box that I care about are people that I know because of the best friends. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking super bunny hop and clemps <laughs> and, uh, mother's basement and. Just all these content creators. It's incredible to see that, like, content creators that are, are getting more and more numbers than they are and how it, it's always felt like they've never grown past I, – I, I, I rarely saw them going over 200,000 on a video a week. It's right. It's it's sad. It's the it's the photo of of Master Splinter with the four baby <laughs> turtles, and it's Super Bunny Hop and Mother's Basement and, and uh, your eye patch wolf. an eye patch wolf, yeah. and then they're they're all grown up, but Splinter's the same size. It's yeah. like aw, it's super cute. But that's yeah. like, well, one of one of the funniest parts of the fisticuffs that you walked in on watching with the like panty fight. Yeah, 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 is not funny anymore. But at the time was hilarious because it's Matt blowing up about that ex like that exact thing, where it's like it's because we play shit like this because <laughs> Smash is out today and we're <laughs> playing fucking Plague. Oh man, love Plague. Plague is my go-to. I'm going to bed. You turn on Art Gripes and it's like an hour of Plague of Gripes just with his deep southern accent. Yeah, but he's also lulling like, you to bed. He's so fucking... I love Plague of Grace, but there's just like a level of weirdness that I'm willing to accept at times. And that's not it. <laughs> like, that's not it, Chief. Like, he, like he's, yeah. he's, he's really strange. The guy doesn't know how to do the inputs. No. <laughs> he's such a weird motherfucker. I, I, it wasn't the, the Pat... Pat had the best explanation. It's just, it's just some fucking guy drawing porn in a farm. <laughs> Somewhere in the Midwest, this is fucking oh. weirdo with a bad internet connection just drawing fucking porn for himself. <laughs> for himself. Um, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, 2019 news news happened. Eight. Hey. There's hey, no order for hey. this news once again. We we I just have a big list in Discord. <sighs> well, okay, end. before we go into 2019, we might as well also bring up VGAs, right? Because we also didn't have like a follow up on that. Uh, the VGAs happened. Shit popped off. Jokers and Smash. Jokers and Smash. What else happened? Who cares? <laughs> Jokers and Smash. I I had screamed so loud that someone in chat had actually gotten in trouble. Yeah, you got somebody's parents to yell at No, you. it oh, wasn't no, parents. It was a neighbor. Yeah. It was an aggressive neighbor who was very upset. Yeah, by how excited you were for yeah. an anime boy I, in a party game. I Listen, man, because it, it just floods your mind with all the implications of like, holy shit, anything's possible. You will not guess... Don't stop making fake leaks and stop guessing. You're wrong. You were wrong. You're but it's never going good, to guess it. But it's good to be wrong now because well, oh, yeah. But now every anything, literally anyone, because like, it's this. It's it's like because Tekken also had that where it's like Noctis. Literally anybody could be in this fucking game. Yeah. Oh no. Anybody could be in this game. <laughs> Negan's in tech. <laughs> Negan's in tech. Well, um, he looks good, actually. No, he looks like shit, and you're wrong. He looks good. So, he looks you are fun. so beyond wrong. That character looks boring as fuck. Yeah, he looks fun. I'm going to do a trailer breakdown after this and explain to you why that character okay. looks boring. All right, you want to do that? Why your opinion is wrong on Negan in tech. Lady, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Almost Content. Welcome to Almost Content. It almost might happen. Who's listening to Phil without headphones? Yeah, that's a that's a really good idea. That's true. If you turn really on one of these point. streams, like um, I would I would liken that. Okay, there's only one time I reacted that hard, and it was the announcement of the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, it was almost the exact reaction, like just the the utter like no way I can't even like my voice went so fucking high and just like. Because all it did is remind, like, for whatever reason, uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake, I even I even had it spoiled for me. But just seeing it, like, yeah, it's like and just blown think, like, away. Joker in Smash is actually going to come out. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, he did it. A lot of other stuff. The VGAs too. Uh, it turns uh, see, out. See, you know what's the worst like... is that when you fucking you you look at Max and he's just like you see his smile curling up as he's about to say something. And you're it's... like, you keep talking and you're just. 
You just see him filling the sandbag. It's, it's, it's me organizing just, the, the it's it's the four D chess, and I'm planning the move out. <laughs> And I can see it's, it in his eyes, and he's just he's just waiting. He's like, oh, man, I can't wait to just shit all over his good time. Every joke has that scene from Death Note where Light Yagami's like, this is how I figured out Hell's <laughs> name by forcing myself <laughs> to forget my own memories. <laughs> and it goes... <laughs> and it Stop. Just goes Stop. It's like, first of all, Phil was born. Step one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, my god! But uh, yeah, other standouts from VGAs, uh, Obsidian's making uh, an actual Fallout game. They decided, hey. yeah. Okay, so people are saying that it's not true. It's not true at all. It's not an open world game. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, so that's that's the one thing that everyone keeps kind of coming away from it, like. Oh, it's going to be the best. Like, we don't even know what it's going to fucking be. Yeah. Like, it's going to be an open-ended game. We know that. But it, they've already said, like, it is an RPG, but it is not an open-world RPG. No. I hope it is I, an open-ended. It, it is a, a uh, yeah, it is a linear storyline that's going to ha- be open-ended. That's That just means that, like, in, in... So, for me, that kind of smacks of, like, a Mass Effect, where it's not necessarily open-world, I would say, because you're still given a direction. Yeah. Just in large areas, like yeah. it's it's not not open world. Like open world is like you're you're basically stuck on the one plane, and you know you're pretty much in charge of the the direction of quests. Yeah. Whereas like I would say open ended design is more like you have you have all these quests sp- separated in separate areas, but at the end of the day, it's it all feeds into the the, the main narrative as yeah. opposed to you just have full on storylines in open world games. I feel. Uh, or, or, or at least I, in Fallout. I think it looks fun. I probably won't play it, but looks like a. Looks I like a will point. obviously after playing New Vegas and really enjoying it on the stream. I'm definitely going to be giving this a shot just because. But the other thing is too, how much of it was Chris Avalone and how much of it was actually uh, Obsidian. Yeah. And the Chris Avalone was the guy for the layman who don't know, uh, was the guy who I you know one of the main uh, creators for Fallout. One of the main writers, too, I believe, too. Yeah. And he had a huge, no pun intended, falling out with the fucking uh, uh, Obsidian. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a huge story behind that. It happened, uh, I want to say, like two or three years ago. Uh, he's off doing uh, Dying Light 2, okay. which is also apparently coming out this year at some point. Oh, shit. That's yeah. Right. No, like, here's the thing is that we have a bunch of games that don't have confirmed release dates, but all pretty much have to be to be. Decided, decided in 2019. So, uh, you know, it's it's just a very kind of... Uh, yeah, uh, the Kokomo saying in chat, basically like the new God of War. Yeah, well, kind of. I'd say so. Where it's like this, the side stories feed into the main narrative as opposed to being their own content. Yeah. I've, I feel like maybe if, if, I, if that makes sense to people... Like it's 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 about fe- it's about kind of feeding into the main storyline more so than creating your own storyline in in like a traditional Fallout game. Yeah. So um, that's gonna be cool. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 11 got revealed. Wins with... award for worst song choice for trailer ever. since the last time they since did. Since the last time they. Oh, are you talking about Chop Suey? Yeah. I I kind of like that. Oh well. I, that has because it's so like lame. It's so lame. It's cute. It loops right back. Because when I think of, like, especially Mortal Kombat X and how seriously it took that story, like, yeah, yeah no, put Chop Suey on there. Just so just so you go, like, you guys know this is dumb, right? Right. Um, but no. Oh, they use Wiz Khalifa for MK9. They just do that a lot. They, it, it's Well, because they also know their audience. Like, Mortal yeah. Kombat, I'd say, has the most normie audience out of anyone. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it, it is, goes it is Mortal the Kombat one. Mortal Kombat and then. Mortal Kombat and then Smash right after. Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Well, well we're talking fighting games. So, oh. Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Oof. And then, surprisingly, Tekken is there. Yeah. And then I'd say Street Fighter. Yeah. Straight but, up. um, yeah, no. And anyone who said, like, oh, that song is really good, it, like, fits with the video. It's like, yeah. It doesn't. Saying, the guy saying, punch, and then somebody getting punched, it's, it's not, not like, oh, genius direction. That's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's that's what you would, yeah. 
That's what you would do. Yeah. That's how you would cut it. That's how you, that's, that's, yeah, um, any traditional AMV artist from 2009 will tell you that's exactly how that works. I'm sorry. We have to, I have to backpedal like a lot. There was one more thing I listened to. Yeah. Have you heard of Blueface? No. Okay, we're going to listen to Blueface after the podcast. Okay. For those of you at home, look up Blueface movie scene. Okay. It's the name of one of his songs. All it's right. only like a minute and 40 seconds long. I've never ser- heard someone's ad libs s- be so loud <laughs> that they overpower the main lyrics <laughs> so immensely. Oh, it man. is fantastic. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, the Ra- Rage 2 got a trailer for the VGAs. Rage 2 looks phenomenal. Looks very good. Is looks that this year? Su- yeah, that's May 20th. 20- Dude, this year, we'll talk Sekiro about it. comes out in like a couple months, right? This year, we'll talk about it. There's a lot of shit, man. Ghost There's a lot Tsushima of stuff. Ghost comes out this year, too, doesn't it? Okay, so the, we'll get there. We'll Wait, get what there. You, why are we saving that for the last bit? Because there's a lot. We might as well do it because it's 2019 and we're done with the VGAs. So maybe we want to make a maybe well maybe we want to entice the idea of a potential content on Maybe it. we would want to think about maybe considering a possibility of having in some which kind one of one universe exists in which we may or may not have a video on that very topic. Maybe. Maybe, which is why I don't want to go over it okay. so much. Well, what the why hell was you, that? I don't know. I also don't know why you put it on the docket if you didn't want to talk about it. I well no, I said we'll we'll talk about a little bit of it. A little taste, a little we'll get there. There's some stuff we can get to. Um, I just want to get past the the uh, non. The, okay. All right. Well, the then normal fine. shit. The, the 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 fine guy who cares about this. What? Because I don't. Okay. Destiny and Bungie split. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, but who cares? Every- Everyone should. Nobody likes Destiny. Well, they should now. Why? At some point. No. What do you mean no? What is going to change? A lot! What the fuck kind of stupid... You idiot! Have you not... Well, okay. Let me fucking relax. You have not been keeping up with anything on that at all, have you? Like, even when I've told you... Bungie's still the one making the game. Activision is the one who's in charge of the fucking decisions. Yeah, but, I mean, they could make the decision. No! 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 Stop! Idiot! No! (laughs) You don't get this! You don't get to sandbag this one! This is a win! I'll have you know I played Destiny 2 up till the second plan. You don't get to sandbag this one! Exactly! Thank you! Thank you! Activision is the reason Destiny 2 was ass. Exactly! Activision is the very reason why Destiny has been a fucked franchise from the beginning. This is huge news. Bungie may or may not be coming back. This doesn't mean that monetization will change, though, uh, because now that they are totally an independent studio, just back up. Okay, so Bungie <laughs> and Activision have split. The big split happened somehow, some way. Bungie got out and took the fucking kids, which is crazy to me. Yeah, because we're not taught like, but block regardless of people were saying like, oh, Destiny Two's been losing so many numbers. Fuck off. Forsaken made a fuck ton of money and was the top selling game of that month. As it almost always is. People who sit there and say that shit have a very provincial fucking worldview and only do so because they don't like it. Get the fuck over it. I understand. I was the hardest. Everyone knows I am the hardest motherfucker when it comes to Destiny 2. I do not like what they did with the first game. Forsaken was fine. I bought it. I played it. It was okay. But you can definitely tell almost every single decision that's being made development-wise was because of Activision's stupid, awful ideas on what they should and shouldn't monetize, and it goes into the very development of the game. So now that they are an independent studio, what this means is that Bungie's not going to have the fucking guy, like the 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 people, like we're hearing all the rumors for, from Activision Blizzard where... The, the people who were just, like, at the top financially are now in the development meetings. Yeah. Like, that's that's a huge no-no in deep. terms of general, like, development creativity. and Because you already – basically, you have this entire thing, thing where you are now just being pushed alongside where it's not just, like, uh, working within budgetary constraints. It's now we're working in with what's going to make us the most fucking money, which is not how any of that should go, especially mm-hmm. considering the fact that we have heard that the same thing that happened with Destiny 1 happened apparently again with Destiny 2, where they had an entirely different game ready, and about 12 months away from launch, they said, no, it's not going to make money, do this. Okay. So, 
Well, that's very smart of them to tell them to change it if it wasn't going to make money. I guess, yeah. you know, if Sorry. it wasn't going to be very successful. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, they're a company and they got to make money. Go fuck yourself. This is great news. This is this amazing is really, news. Really good news. Hey, Activision, hope you can publish a good game next time. Uh, so they're they're on top of that. Their stock nosedived really hard. Activision. Yeah, as soon as they lost De- Destiny, that's a pretty they, big loss. It's pretty big loss. That game did sell. I kind of want to. I I'm it, and what this kind of like sounds like to me is it. it this isn't the only company doing this right now because obviously Bethesda as a publisher is suffering too with the Fallout seventy six tra- trauma and all that shit. Yeah. And EA too. You have all these like large AAA publishers that are basically just kind of floundering right now because. People are starting to wake up. It happened at the end of 2017 when I was like, okay, you know, in terms of games, it was great. In terms of business practices, it sucked. But yeah. it was the year that people just started kind of like witnessing them. Hey, their wallets second. are getting fucked. Wait like, a no second. <laughs> this businessman's penis is inside of my wallet. <laughs> what is it doing there? I didn't ask for this. All, all of my dollars, they're wet and sticky. All of my horse cosmetic money. Oh, who put this? I didn't buy this red dot site. Who put this here? No. Battle pass. Boxes. Season pass. No way. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Nylon bag. Ooh, Nuka, Nuka Cola. Nuka. That's the fucking worst. Did you see that one? They, I haven't seen videos of people trying to pour it yet. Let's save that. Okay. Though. Let's save this. <laughs> Anyways, this is okay. So I know a lot of people are already on the Destiny like hate train. I get it. I I'm right there with you. We shouldn't forgive. You know, we shouldn't forget all that shit. Yeah. What I'm saying is we should forgive. And I I'm hey. wholly now mind you this once again cautious optimism. I get it. Let's go into it going okay. Well, Bungie's still going to need to make money. Yeah. So what is their what is their plan on monetization now? And uh, what exactly is the future of Destiny as a franchise? Is it going to stick with the with the model they're going with now, where it's going to be smaller content updates and made that kind of mirror the way that Warframe's going about it? Mm-hmm. Or are they going to genuinely make a Destiny 3? What is going to be the one the one move that makes the most sense for them right I now? I don't know. But let's finish that those 10 years strong, huh? They – ah! Mm, eight. eight. Eight years. Oh, eight. Yeah, they, they hit eight years. Remember, this is like... Two years left. Yeah. Because you think about it, well... Destiny was announced in 2010? Yeah. Well, 11, I think. Fuck, dude. Yeah, Destiny's Destiny was like... Um, teased in ODST. Oh, okay. Like, it's been in the works for a while now. Yikes. 2013 is when we heard, like, when we heard about it. Oh, well, but like it's, it's been in development for. Oh, then for it's years. ten years from the release. All right, or they could have yeah, honestly be a meant ten year franchise. Meant, but you know, still about six, seven years. Still ago. one of the probably the best, <laughs> best comments ever said at what? a press conference. Oh yeah, ten year game. What does that mean? Mm. Does it mean the disc will disintegrate after ten years? <laughs> <laughs> Server's done. Bye guys. Server's done. Sorry, Mac users. Oof. Oh boy. Um. All right. So that was yeah. That's that's pretty much that. Uh it's good times. You know what's not so good? Randy Pitchford pitching a tent in all the wrong places. Oh no! He did it. Yep. Uh, oh man. Allegedly. 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 We can't. I mean, as far as I mean, I haven't seen any more updates on this today. Yeah. I'm sure there is, and we're completely losing track on it. Like like every other story that happens in the in the news world. Yeah, that's why we have to do this podcast now, so we have a clean slate. It's like okay, now we can start paying attention. From here on, this is the new stuff. It was so hard going through because I'm like, there a lot of shit has happened, and yeah. a lot of it is just like either like it's just been beaten in the ground or whatever. But uh, fucking. <clears throat> so as far as we can tell. Looks like they're being sued. Like there's a class action lawsuit against either Gearbox or Randy Pritchard himself mm-hmm. about uh, from another, I guess, former employee who is accusing him of not only stealing money but also, hey, low key, he has a USB full of underage child pornography that he left. <laughs> That he left at a midnight was it medieval times? <laughs> it's a medieval times. <laughs> so he has he has agreed and has said. Yeah, no, I it's it's got porn on it, but it's like 
is like legal porn, yeah, which is the, you shouldn't have to justify. Right. That's not how you should. Like the moment that those <laughs> words come out, you're like, I don't know, buddy. Well, my boys, I was uh, playing with the Slammers last night, and a lot of them were like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why do you have that? What? You, you, what was happening at medieval times? Yeah, like what are you doing? That that like okay, first of all, why do you have that on your person in a situation where it's like, oh, I kind of. This medieval first times all, is getting me rowdy. First of all, no computers in the medieval times. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even going to do with it? <coughs> oh, my God. That's like trapped in another world with my flash drive. <laughs> Jesus. Randy Pitchford competing for wackiest felony? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm drinking water. <laughs> I fucking I can't uh, we can't do it at the same time because there'll be dead space. But but yeah, no. So hey Randy Pitchford, um t- what the fuck? <laughs> hey, don't don't do that. Okay. Um I I don't believe that it's I'm I i want to believe it's not underage porn. I definitely believe it's just regular porn. I the, the theory last night was it's just it's just the gigabyte of Battleborn porn that does exist on the internet. Yeah. That he kind of keeps as a keepsake. Like always on his person. Always on, his person. on a necklace. Yeah, close to his heart. Um, <laughs> it's the, it's it's Edward's pocket watch. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. And on the side it's the mushroom ninja. <laughs> May eleventh, twenty sixteen, or whatever God. that fucking game came out. I forget. Um, <laughs> oh man, I I hundred percent. I I'm gonna go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt and say that it wasn't an underage anything, yeah. and then it was just regular porn. I will totally say that guy stole money, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. That is, yeah, I mean, a big we're thief. Yeah. That is that dude's the biggest thief. Yeah. I mean, if you uh, all you need to do is look at all the bullshit that happened with the uh, Colonial Marines back in the day, and that was, oh man, that was a fucking shit show. Just yeah. embezzling money for another more popular game series of yours. Solid, Sick. Solid. Solid. Move. Solid fucking move. Yeah. So. Oh uh, man. So yeah, uh, story developing. Story developing. Uh, what does this say about Ooh. Borderlands Three? This is a really good question. Same thing with like Starbreeze. Yeah, remember that when Starbreeze no. got fucking uh, Actually, I raided? Have no idea what Starbreeze. <laughs> well, they were in charge of um, the Payday Two guys. Yeah, and they have a couple of games that they've done before. Obviously, they did like the the Riddick games. If you remember those, yes. And they did a couple and the, the Darkness games as well. Um, there was like a a thing of insider trading, and they got fucking swatted. Oh God! What? Nothing. I was just thinking about the Darkness Two playthrough. Oh yeah, that is coming. Oh, that you're gonna do because I'm not touching that. Oh right, but someone should, but not me. I mean, yeah, I've been told we should play it <laughs> at some point. It's it's a very silly game. It's a very um, lot. People seem to people always forget. Here's a here's a nugget of knowledge for those of you who who remember the Swagalagon when it was in the canon universe. Yeah. Uh, the fucking Frankie meme is from the Darkness too. It is. The fucking is is totally from the Darkness too. Damn, I never. Because knew me that. and me and a, a old friend of mine were discussing it. Uh, I think after we had both played the Darkness too, and I, and we were regaling each other with like there was a section where there was a guy named Frankie. That you have to choose, but you, there's a section you have to choose between like killing this person or killing like, Frankie, and then we we're just like, "Oh, Frankie, what a good guy! Oh, fucking Frankie!" And it just went like, "Damn good pizza, great yeah. knots, grandmother's recipe." Oh God, the loop. God love his soul. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have any attachment to any gearbox properties so i'm not i'm not I out mean, here if, stressing uh he's been talking a lot of shit about borderlands 3 which is obviously in development um what this means for the future of borderlands 3 considering the fact that randy pritchford is is so ingrained with it i i don't know yeah it probably means that you know the writing will be better oh or the game will be better yeah, or it'll just be a better yikes. game in general yeah. oh no well I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing it won't be a period piece Won't it won't take place. That is, that is 
Okay. All right. Uh, What's next in the docket, you piece of shit? Um, well, that this is a big one to unpack. But Fallout seventy six, I don't know if you've heard, is uh, is not uh, oh no, not the game everyone was looking for. Really, to. that's a um, shame. As a as a brief recap for okay. everything that's happened, tell me. Okay, so Fallout seventy six, quote unquote, releases. Uh, there are multiple patches totaling to about one hundred and fifty six gigabytes within the first month. <laughs> Everyone gets their special editions with their canvas bags, except they're not canvas, they're nylon. Mm. Because Bethesda, the, the materials weren't available and to then create they found canvas. Them. Oh no, we found it! Yeah, because they sent canvas bags to influencers. So now, if you No, go, it was worse. They no, invited they did an event. Them. Yeah, they invited yeah. people to an event and gave out canvas bags. Uh-huh. Um, but hey, it's fine. You can still get a canvas bag if you send in a support ticket. The trade-off being that everyone can see everybody's support tickets, receipts, addresses, credit card information, and full names. Mm -hmm. um, so you probably shouldn't do that. And I know, you're probably getting a little tired, so you should probably take a load off with a nice drink of Nuka-Cola rum, which is worth about $80, but in actuality is a $10 bottle of rum that you can't even pour because of the shape of the glass. Okay, well, first of all, it's <laughs> it worse. Just... It's worse. It's not an actual glass. Uh, the 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 alcohol. Have you not seen that? I haven't. The, I haven't seen it. I've only okay, been so described the, so the it. So the the Nuka Cola thing is just a plastic casing. Yeah. It's just a like you you either you have to open it up and get the actual rum out of the case. Like the plastic. Yeah. Like it's basically a novelty toy. Yeah. And you put it. It's like a. It's like a big stupid. Yeah, koozie a big for your literally. Rum. I, I, there, I know they've, they've seen them. Like you have to, you pry them apart and yeah. you put them together again. Oh my god! It. And then apparently at the at the at the beginning of the year, um, nukes just stopped working because the server said, "Oh no, it's a new year. These only work for last year's nukes." You know, it's Y two K all over again. <laughs> We lost control of the system. Well, by the way, people are also making money off of selling gear now. Um, oh. Hey, how, it's, many, it's, how many times do they have to work the rework the leveling up system? Oh my! Hey, dude. you can respec at level fifty, and you don't get your points. Back. It is it is one of those situations where you think it can't get worse, and then it just does it's the gift that keeps on giving it it's literally it keeps is, on giving without a doubt my favorite fallout game uh-huh i have had yeah. more fun with this fallout game than any other Fallout. absolutely 100 percent without Easy, a doubt clean i haven't even had to play it it's so good i could just watch other people <laughs> enjoy remember that, it remember that part in the original trailer where the guy's standing on the cliff and three nukes go off <laughs> don't do that Take me home. <laughs> do not do that because you'll crash the server. Oh. Did you hear the legend of the man who couldn't die? <laughs> no. <laughs> what about the legend of the man who killed people by being near them? What about the man who could look at the ground and fucking run a triathlon? <laughs> he became Usain Bolt by merely just not interpreting the world around him. What about the time everyone got together and just kept dropping nukes on the beginner area to create endgame raid content <laughs> at the start of the game? Do you know about the beans? No! You don't know about the beans? There's a quest called Feed the People. And when you complete the quest... Everybody on the server gets a free can of beans. Uh -huh. So yeah. people, you know, if you're in the area, you do the quest, you feed the server. Apparently that's a bug. <laughs> so now only one person gets the beans. <laughs> so feed the people is really just feed yourself because the people don't get to eat. And there's no other people besides the people because everything oh, else is a computer box. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> What a fuck! What a what a good game! What an amazing game, guys! Oh. When it goes on, when it's free on PlayStation Plus next month, definitely highly recommend skipping it, guys. Okay, <laughs> place your bets. What's gonna What's gonna have more good lore coming out of it? Eve Online or Fallout seventy six? <laughs> it's really hard to tell because Eve Online is 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 lore created in the game. Yeah, and I guess. Technically, Fallout 76 is still lore created by the developers. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
social experiment oh. still live and well in 2019. Oh, dude, no, stop. It's just a prank. Hey, guys, it's just, it's just a, a prank. prank. Stop it's fucking downvoting it, us on Metacritic. It's just a prank. Just... We oh. wanted to see how gamers would react to actually paying $60 for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a skeleton. They Have like fun. It. What do I do with the skeleton? Well, the world's your oyster, buddy. Yeah. And unfortunately, that world is inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the skeleton inside out? Oh, Who did this? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> why, why he arms so long? <laughs> <laughs> why he got big arms? Oh, does arms is long? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's 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 really the question. It's not who's got the better lore between Eve Online and Fallout 76. Keyhawk big arms. It's who's got the longest arms, Fallout 76 boy or Spring Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh, I love Fallout 76 so much. Oh, I love it so much. It's my favorite. Oh, oh god. At least 2018 ended on a bang. That's very good. Oh, what a fucking, what an amazing game. Uh, speaking of an actually amazing game, we got a lot more Devil May Cry 5 info. Yeah. Um, the a bunch. craziest one to me is that it's like, yeah, all the stuff you've seen from Nero and V is from two missions, three and four. And it's like, oh, because it looks like those missions will really go places. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm really, I'm really hoping. Yeah. Looking forward to DMC 5. We also get a demo next month. Everyone gets a demo this time. February 6th, unless you're on PC. Yep. Stop data you. mining stuff. Oh, that's probably Literally why. stop data mining. Stop using trainers and data mining things. Okay, listen. I wouldn't use the trainer if they just let me play the demo as long as I wanted. Yeah, but that wouldn't be fair to the people who got to fly out to the conferences for free and played earlier. Than yeah, you. right? Because they only got 30 minutes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Fuck them. I don't know. I, I like the idea, but I wish instead of the 30-minute time constraint, it was way harder and you only had one life. I don't know if I like the idea. I'm still like I I understand the reasoning behind it, but it's still it's just, it's just one of those things where it's like okay you're trying to sell this game. What what about limiting it is going to be like because it's not a beta. It's not like the, it's a demo. Yeah, you're you're supposed to play the demo, <clears throat> and then when you think about it, it doesn't have content. Like yeah, it's super cool. Kill a few zombies, walk around, see what's going on, but then like. You do the mission, and you, like I said, you can beat the the whole demo in about three minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, I mean, I wouldn't even call it a demo <clears throat> as much as I would call it like, strangely, like an like an episode Duskai. Yeah. Can your computer run Resident Evil Two? Yes, it can. It's very well optimized. Yeah, the RE engine, a, the RE engine, is just God is God. It is a. Um, it is a God tier engine, and nobody else good. is going to be able to use it because they don't speak Japanese. No. Nope. And to the people who do speak Japanese, they're not going to get anywhere near it. Yeah. Uh, Capcom's never going to use it because they don't like their IPs. Yeah. Speaking of engine problems or engines in general, uh, yeah, Tetsuya Nomura came out and said uh, exactly what everyone thought was the problem. The reason why KH3 oh, we're took so long. hopping that far ahead. Yeah. We didn't even talk about Devil May Cry. I was looking for it. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Well, what exactly it was... about? It's going to be 15 hours long. Okay. There are secret weapons. Right, when they said that, what does that mean? It means that you can miss weapons. It means like, oh, you didn't pick up the shotgun in the bar of Devil May Cry 3? That's not a secret weapon. Yeah, well, I mean... That's just you being dumb. No, not you. Well, I did, yeah. But, like, it, it probably means there are just certain weapons along the way that you can miss. Yeah. That's uh, it. If it. It means, like, there's actually weapons they haven't shown. Yeah. Fucking hoorah, but like... But uh, also, it's like, yeah, we'll just keep making characters if people want them. If DMC5 <laughs> becomes a games-as-service, like, character action game, I'm completely That's fine That's the with one that. game as a service. I would buy characters. But I'm sorry, I would. I, I know people are like, it should be free. Here's no, the model. You release no. Bloody Palace free-to-play with a rotating <clears throat> character every week, and then you just pay for the characters and the weapons. That's how you monetize. Oh it, man! You don't even have to put ads in it. Ah, uh, <laughs> that could all oh, so many good segues we could use. Ooh, I know. I got them oh. today. I've been building them up over the past three years since the last <laughs> podcast. 
Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, Street Fighter Five had ads because Capcom... Or for like, what, a week? For Yeah, it was like, <clears throat> it was a week. It felt longer. Yeah. Where you would start a match, and it would load up a JPEG, and it's like, hey, don't forget to buy your Colleen costumes. Oh, my God. It was really and, bad. And uh, all my favorites, it's, there's a skin for every character that just has Capcom Pro Tour logos just, just on the texture. Just all, <laughs> Guile's American flag tattoos are replaced with Pro Tour logos. Oh, my God. Yeah, which I, know. I think I is that. genius. I saw that. But I... um, it's like, oh, you can turn it off, but instead of getting 50 fight money per match... If you turn them on, then you can get 60 fight money per match. So I hope Capcom's fighting game division dies. Uh, yeah. And is then reborn. They need a. They need to stop, take some time off, fire everybody, and then bring them back. Because, man, do I get depressed every single time I think about, like, wow, Capcom's got a lot of really good fighting game properties. You know what's like, funny some to me? of the best. You know what's funny to me is you told me that Street Fighter was doing really good when they brought that guy from the Monster Hunter team on. And then Ono decided he wanted to come back. And because the way that Japanese companies work, if somebody who's been there longer than you has has just seniority, he can do I don't think Ono decided to come back. I think I said a joke and then you misinterpreted it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Ono didn't, like, come back. I don't know what's going on there right now. I oh. have no idea. No idea. Hope they figure it out. Shenmue 3. Big. Super big. Huge game. Big Shenmue energy. Big Shenmue energy. Please look forward to talking. This man referred to it as a multiple week game. Does that mean it just takes place over multiple no, weeks? No. No. He said this is gonna, he wants the game. He wants people to take weeks to complete it. The which, time system which, where you have to wait to do things no. is going to be real time. It's going to be like Animal Cross. <laughs> okay, that or the amount of menial shit you have to do to get to like an actual part of the story has now exponentially increased, and that game's DOA. Thank you, Yu Suzuki. You did it. Wow, thanks for this forklift job. By the way, um, you need to pay your bills. Oh, okay. I have to revenge my dad, though. No, no you, you have to take out a second mortgage because you're... Right. Well, really, you, can, you had you to can, pay for the forklift. You can do that if you go ahead and apply for this car loan. Yeah. But I walk. Not anymore. Not anymore. Hey, by the way, did you feed your cat? You no. gotta solve this riddle. Whose cat is that? It's your girlfriend's. I don't. I don't have a girlfriend. Have a, you haven't talked to her in a while. She said she's not angry, but she also hasn't called. You have to solve this riddle to find your dad, but it has a lot of historical mean significance. Oh, I should really go back and get my bachelor's. Oh, man. I, should, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta think about yeah. this one. Ugh. Oh, no. Now I work at a museum. I'm 60. Who killed my dad? <laughs> <laughs> I have the fucking mirror here in the, my museum. I literally forgot. And I forgot still don't know who, who killed, killed my, my dad. dad. No, he, he knows, but he forgot who killed his dad. Yeah, he didn't play he, Shinmu. No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, no. He, he, he watches this man kill his dad. Yeah, but he doesn't know where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He yeah. knows who it is, though. Yeah, but by this but, point, but he's he old and senile. He yeah, he forgotten. definitely forgot. His, his life has gone. <laughs> it's gone through so many different paths. Like, he had enough to, like, have kids and lose his kids. Shenmue in actual real life. You're always history. racing those damn forklifts. <laughs> You're going to get yourself killed one of these days, Rio. And I'm not going to be around for when that happens. He gets really drunk and starts looking for sailors again in a really controversial oh, and he is sailors. You and your goddamn sailors, Ryu. Rio. Rio, boats haven't existed for 40 years. <laughs> the, the year is 2049. <laughs> Oh god! Uh, so yeah, it just it just says Shenmue Three is gonna be yeah, big. It's, it's gonna be a big game, <laughs> which I guess. Thanks for kickstarting that. I, I and to me the like that's that kind of is super scary, just because of the fact that like, I get when people t- turn around and they say, "Oh, there's gonna be so much more content." It's like not. Nah, I hate when people fucking say that because it doesn't have any. There's no, no one ever differentiates between like content and meaningful content. Yeah. There's no there's no person who's like. Oh no! You're gonna want to do everything. It's it, you're and, gonna want to ride that horse across yeah. the countryside. And talk to your your partners with a D. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, did we talk about that on the podcast? No, you you skipped about right how over. much I I dislike Red Dead. 
No, yeah, because I, I, I guess I did play Red Dead for 10 hours and hated it. Yeah, because that's how long it takes to get between the cities. <laughs> okay, not yeah, that bad. Like... That's how long it takes to get past a tutorial. Oof. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck that game. It's It, it looks amazing. We Sounds still got, amazing. We still got to look at it on the TV. Oh, yeah. Mm, I still have it. I was like, did yeah. I give it back already? No, I didn't give it back. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Um, um, but, yeah. God damn it. That fucking game. Uh, from big TVs to small TVs. The new Alien Games and mobile game. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, he's doing it. Yeah, he keeps doing it. I he's keep so it, good I'm at keeping it. keeping it going. We're going. We're he's doing so it. He's so quick-witted. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't. I didn't really hear much about it I either. All I know is that there's two things they're working on, which is this is the, the sequel to Isolation, by the way, yeah. and it is a Five Nights at Freddy's knockoff. Oh man! How many it, different it, kinds of Ripley's do you think you can get in, <laughs> in your in your gotcha got alien gotcha game? Yeah, it's not even the it's not even the Ripley you want. No. Well, you could probably get Sigourney Weaver. Like it's the power armor, but it's not the JPEG of the power armor doing a cool pose. <laughs> Or the power lifter, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is if it's even called Ripley that. Power Lifter Swimwear Edition. Yeah. Yeah. She's still wearing a jumpsuit. It's just a big bikini <laughs> over the, the fu- fucking, on the fucking lifter. exosuit. Uh, oh Jesus Christ. But apparently there is a bigger aliens game coming. They said, no, I know you're already angry about the mobile game, but so we need to pay the bills. So we're making an MMO, it's a shooter. Because that's what people want. When I think of Alien, the movie about one person being stalked by a monster, my mind immediately jumps to 300 people on a map. (laughs) The last game was called Isolation. Oh, man. It's so bad. It's so bad. And, And they were talking so much shit about how... We've got all these plans for the Alien franchise. It's going to be huge in 2019. If this is how you're starting it off, man, uh, God bless you. Good, good, good fucking luck. Good hustle. Good hustle, buddy. Like, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay as dead as it has been. Just watch Alien and Aliens, and you're good. Yep. Forget, forget all the other movies fucking happen, guys. Forget every piece of... Well, no, the comics are pretty cool. I've actually been... It's funny that we... That I had that on the docket because I've been that's I have been watching that some dude named Alien Theory who goes over like uh, a lot of the aliens uh, lore. Oh, okay. You know, it's pretty pretty good stuff. I guess if they were to do an MMO, they would base it off of there is a a moment where the xenomorphs take over Earth. Oh, okay. So like that that's definitely a thing they could do. Yeah, but like you could you just know. do like an XCOM spinoff, or you could you just know. literally Not. do an actual sequel to the game that was really successful for you. That that could the best thing the Xenomorph has been in in the past however many years Mortal since the first Aliens was Mortal Kombat. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's just Baraka. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, what next? What do we got? I don't have a segue for it, but Jack Black is pretending to make video game content. Okay, listen. <laughs> All right. No, I'm sorry. That's not what's happening. Jack Black's son wants to start being on YouTube, so he's using his dad to insert himself into a more successful okay. channel All right. so that when his dad gets bored, he can take over and just claim whatever people will stick around afterwards. Okay, right. That's not true. It's not? It's not, and it's okay. because of the last two videos he just put up. Okay. Because he has done everything to put his son in those videos, and his son completely shuts the camera down every fucking time. Okay. So then it this, is, it then is this just is, Jack then I'm Black. I'm happy my pessimism has been proven wrong. Yes. Because I really want Jack Black to be a Let's Player <laughs> YouTube video game man. He, he's made – he goes, listen, we are going to be making real videos soon. We're still working on it. But in the meantime, here's this stupid stuff. Yeah. And okay. it's And it's very like – Run of the mill, very basic stuff, but it's you know I it's I would Jack say, Black. I you know what? It's funny in the sense of like it, it takes you back to the days of like Nacho Libre, of like just the like of, his version of absurdist humor yeah, and stuff like that. that very meme Yeah. Very like yeah, very wholesome. Yeah. So if you want like a wholesome content like thing, I jibligity whatever the fuck his thing is. Jibli- J- Jablinski. J- I think it's Jablinski. <laughs> Jibli- oh, Jablinski, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jablinski Games. If you want that, go ahead and I'm not salty him. about anything. Ooh. If my dad was famous, I'd exploit him too. 
Oof. <laughs> but nobody's kicking it with Keith right now. Oh, poor Keith. Poor Keith. He wants a podcast. He I'd, wants to do I'd it. Listen he to asks that man. me every single time I'd I listen down. to that man talk about clam chowder for hours. Yeah, he talks about other things, you know. <laughs> I don't know. That being said, when he came up and we had lunch, we did go to, it, to a Boston bar pub in celebration and did eat clam chowder. Okay, well, what do you want me to do then? I don't know. What do you want me to fucking do? That's what, I, is, I what you're know. doing. Stop you're just committing microaggressions into... against Keith. <laughs> microaggressions against the Bostonian. This has got it. There's another settlement over there that needs your help. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, absolute daggers towards the kid. Uh, what is... Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Again. I, I... I... No. It would be different if we actually made content. <laughs> Where yeah. it's like... The only... the Okay, so the only reason that I would sit there and I would kind of see people being salty about it is because of... Uh, I mean, right now, you're thinking about it, and, and the idea of YouTube is that it's supposed to kind of give an outlet or a uh, a soapbox, as it were, for everyone who isn't a fucking famous person. So if all the famous people just end up taking YouTube, at, like, where are the rest of the views going to go? But it's like, really, in the grand scheme of things, there are people who make, who get millions and millions of views on their on their content, and I still don't know who those people are. Yeah, and, and so the like, there it's like... just there's so much on YouTube. Why are you going to focus just because you're part of the video game section of it? Like, just relax. The other thing is, like, yeah, Jack Black doesn't need to do this for, like, any other reason. It's like, the dude probably just wants to make YouTube videos. Right. And it's and like, so, so if anyone should be allowed to do it, then, yeah, Jack Black should probably be able to do it. And, yeah, and, and also think about the schedule he has going on, too. He's probably going to have a two- to three-hour session where he plays one game and it's going to be a 15-minute to 30-minute video that he uploads every Friday. Yeah. So while that man is already intensely busy with whatever he's doing, mm. he can have this thing on the side and just have it. And it's not going to – it's not going to fucking be bringing in more and more people, like, consistently. It's going to peter out at some point. Or it, he may very well take on PewDiePie. Who knows? Who cares? Everyone's trying to. I'd rather someone who's not a piece of shit – as far as we know, Jack Black hasn't been involved in any sort of actual he's, terrifying, terrifying I don't think controversy. He's ever been to a Medieval Nights. No, I don't. I don't even think he knows what a USB is. No, or porn. Well, he knows what fucking is. You know, <laughs> I don't know if he knows. He what, a, I don't know if he's a porn guy. Yeah, I know he fucks. He, he has. He has to a have, fuck trophy, so that makes sense. That's not what you call kids, is it? <laughs> No, that's bad. No, we're even for everything I said in this podcast. That was the one. Yeah, no. Jack Black's always seemed like just a super legit guy. I really want him to play Osu. By the way, side. Oh my! He was okay. So he's playing a rhythm game in the in the last video. Yeah, but like, I want it to be just that. I want that to be what he does. It's like, hey guys, this week we're playing Sound Voltex. I actually, I actually genuinely want a rock band playthrough from Jack Black. Yeah. I think that'd be super cool. I think it'd be super it'd be fucking super rad. Cool. Um, Japan's like, hey, uh... Japan's doing the good thing in banning fucking gray market resellers. Okay, for those of you who don't know, G2A are a bunch of fucking crooks. If their involvement with the recent fucking YouTube controversy about the mystery box... That selling people ten million dollar homes wasn't enough. Then the reminder that they're basically kind of low key stealing CD keys and selling them for its lower prices, but they live in a middle like a legal middle ground yeah. where it's like, well, it's not that bad, and also your key may or may not get reclaimed from the developer. I'm just selling numbers. It's just numbers. It's just yeah. data. No, I. Gray market stuff I've never really paid too much attention to. I don't even think I don't even think I've I've bought anything from Gray Market. I guess I guess Maybe Green Man X Split. Is Green Man Gaming I guess considered Gray Market? Uh, I bought Final Fantasy off of it for the PC and it was like cuz I got like a $10 yeah. discount on it. Yeah, I don't know about Green Man Gaming. I feel like they I don't think they are, but they very well maybe. But yeah, Japan's like, "Hey, yeah, cut that shit out." Which is 
which, which is, is good. You know, it's good, but it also like it's. I, I just recently learned about the the rental culture or the lack thereof of rental culture in Japan. How they really don't like they they ban rents rental stuff. Yeah, which is really really weird to me because they had that whole thing where uh, they, someone tried to open a video game bar over in Japan and it got hit oh, by oh hit that's by a, so many fucking people. Um, Super Nintendo Bunny. especially. I was gonna say Super Bunny Hop has a really good video. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Um, but um, no, I don't think it's because of like game rentals. I think it's because as soon as you have games in there, it qualifies as an arcade, which means that you have to close before like. Like 10 p.m., which for a bar kind of sucks. Yeah. The way around it is if the games take up less than 10% of the space. But if you have like a small bar, which is what a lot of these Japanese like barcades are kind of doing, then that really means like you can put a Game Boy on one of the coffee tables and like that's it. And at that yeah. point, what's the point? Yeah, exactly. So there, again, I don't <laughs> remember what it was called exactly, but Super Bunny Hop has a fantastic video about that. Oh, we got breaking news from our newsroom over here. Do, 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 Sadistic, do, 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 do. autistic, <laughs> the man on the scene. Yeah. I don't think we should call him that anymore. Nope. Uh, oh, no. Activision is being investigated for fraud right now. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Really? It's who'd have uh, thunk? Who'd have who'd, who'd thinked? Who'd have th- it's, it's not thinked. Bobby Kotick's a fucking piece of shit? No. No. No, yeah. he's just a terrifyingly fucking abusive CEO. That's all. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, go ahead and link the article, please. Um, In the meantime, um, yep, like you said earlier, Kingdom Hearts 3 delayed for engine issues. Yep, yeah, there you it's go. It's almost like put, porting your whole game over to something else. It's rough. It's almost like the Luminous Engine's DOA. Yeah. That's a goddamn shame. I I feel like, I mean, because they shut down Luminous Studios entirely, right? We talked about that last time, right? Yeah, or did they repurpose it? I think they're done. I think Luminous is done. Right. Um, But, uh, yeah, no. It, second saddest death of an engine. We're never going to get another Fox Engine game. Oh, man. And the Fox Engine... Was the RE engine of its time. Oh, yeah. Fox engine was super good. Really happy it got used to make one more horrible, disgusting Metal Gear cash in and also a soccer game. Not even the big one. Oh, it was winning 11, wasn't it? Hmm? It was winning 11, right? Because I, I think that's the Konami PES? series. PES? Okay, PES it was PES. Something. Because I think they also do winning 11 7, which is the weirdest fucking soccer name. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, supposedly, and I just realized that I'm not able to click on that link. <laughs> Brilliant. It's just on the TV. So let's just make up whatever the fraud is. Okay. Uh, Bobby Kotick is literally going inside of orphanages and actually yeah. stealing candy from babies. Oh, that's, that's pretty rough. It's pretty yeah. goddamn rough. And he's replacing it with like fake candy. Oh man. Hey, sadistic while you're doing it, please repost that link one more time. Cause we're actually, oh no, we can hear ourselves. Yeah, but they can't. Don't um, break kayfabe. Oh, well, that's literally break kayfabe should be the name of this fucking podcast. Uh, that's all we do is we just break kayfabe. Every all the podcast time. opens with how is Max going to get to the couch? <laughs> how will he do it? Will he do some kind of sick flip? You'll never know. It's We're going to install a moat around the fucking couch, and he's just going to have to figure it out next time. Um, hey, talk about Kingdom Hearts still. Okay, so basically... Because um, we got to play it. We went down to uh, Disney Springs. Yeah, so for those who don't know, uh, Disney's finally <laughs> leaning into the fact that, hey, there's this amazing property they've held on to for years that can totally bring more and more people to the park, believe it or not. Um, and have actually started to do some Kingdom Hearts stuff in both the parks and their outside venues, like Downtown Disney. And for those who don't know, Downtown Disney is basically what it sounds like. It is literally a shopping mall, stripping mall kind of thing. Strip mall, rather. Uh, that they um, just have a bunch of restaurants and shops in. A lot of it's Disney-oriented, and they just decided that we have some, some free space. We're going to open up a thing where people are going to be able to play a 15-minute demo of KH3, which it was the... Um, the Titan fight one of, from one Olympus, of the Titan fights one of the Titan fights from Olympus as well as just the start of the toy box world <laughs> Toy Story toy box mm-hmm. which hey guys if anybody's in the Orlando area and is going out if you want to know what the gameplay is like just do the toy box demo twice yeah um, dude, don't don't play the Titan demo the Titan demo yeah. was 
I mean, it it just it, it is a set piece, yeah, which is a shame, and I. Which I don't think, thankfully, that all the boss fights are going to be like that. Because, I mean, at least from the final battle trailer, it definitely looked like a lot more of the boss fights are going to be way more involved. Yep. Uh, but the Titan fight was, I mean, you've already seen it. Uh, the Toy Story demo gives you two or three, gives you two battle sections, or three battle sections. Yeah. Uh, three battle sections and then one of the giant robot sections. Yeah. And then you're good. Um. So play that twice and then you're good. Also, we waited three hours for it, but we actually walked around and had a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. And yeah, even that, I still think it was worth the wait. I, Hell yeah! I, I had a lot of fun. I was discovering stuff like you can stock transformations and like, like cancel between them, and like it all feels really smooth and natural. You can, you can like swap keyblades like mid combat, and I'm not saying like just like on the fly, but like during attacks. Yeah, there's like keyblade swapping stuff. There's a lot of really cool things going on. Very excited for it. I'll probably go back down there at least one more time after work at some point and try it again. Uh, we both play uh, try to play it on Xbox One, I guess. We both played on PS4 Pros. Honestly, from so, a distance, even the Xbox One X was dropping frames. Yeah. Okay. So target frame rate on the intermediary consoles is 60. Xbox One is supposed to have a locked 60. The PS4 Pro is supposed to have a variable 60. Um we didn't get that many drops. I didn't get that many drops no, on I, both sections of the demo. Mine ran pretty smooth. Mine ran pretty smooth. Uh, um, the it issue also doesn't is... have the oh, frame pacing oh. doesn't seem super off, which is a huge problem with uh, Final Fantasy 15 and even Point Two. Yeah. Uh, where that's why a lot of the animations looked weird or choppy. Yeah. Because of the frame pacing, looks like they finally fixed that issue, and it totally is an issue with Luminous and not at all with Unreal. Yep. Because uh, Luminous was, God bless, a awful engine. <laughs> um, pretty, so. But... That's about it. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is obviously performance stuff for this demo doesn't fucking matter because this is an old demo. Yeah. It's old code. <laughs> old code. So so it's probably running even smoother now. And they also have a day one patch. Yeah. So they actually um, there's going to be a couple patches over the first three or four days mm -hmm. where they're just going to be adding stuff. The secret movie comes out on the 30th, which is well, yeah, the 31st. Yeah. Which is weird to me, but it can also make sense. It's a couple days after, because in order to get the secret movie anyway, I think you have to beat it on the either the hardest difficulty. They mentioned criteria. You can get it on multiple difficulties, but the criteria <laughs> will change depending on which one you're playing on. So it either it either is going to be easier on harder difficulties or harder. That would probably make sense if it was easier on harder difficulties because yeah. you're already playing a harder mode. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, no, adding you know movie gallery which is important they're going to have something in the game that's like okay here is the story so far here is everything you need to know in order to know what's going on they they're also having have a, a section they also have a before you stream button yes which is very strange oh um, it's a button it's a button it's not well, a forced thing that pops no 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 up. not at all it is a it is a oh, button on the menu the collection has that oh does it it's a, it's called sharing restrictions oh okay. you click that and it describes everything that you need to know cool um so that's good. No mysteries there. They kind of tell you what to expect. Um, very, very, very excited for that game. Still trying to grind out Kingdom Hearts 2 as much as I can. Um, a game that's apparently going to get DLC as well. Yeah. I there is a I there is know. a Keyblade that's exclusive DLC. I. It is weird to say that, but there is now exclusive Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. They just have the requirements on the mobile game. Where you do like these little Mr. Mr. Game and Watch style things yeah. to unlock a keyblade, so I'm gonna try and do that again because before they were fucking ridiculous, and I don't know how <sighs> anybody did them. But I've once again downloaded backdoor, not backdoor. Um, Kingdom Hearts backdoors. <laughs> I've seen Hearts, that one; it's pretty good. Kingdom Hearts Chi back cover. It's back, back cover. cover, but yeah. no Chi Union Cross, whatever. The mobile game. The Just mobile see the game. fucking mobile, the mobile game. game. Which is still going on. Yeah. Still has relevant story info. Yeah. And Fuck honestly, you. It's, it's, a, it's decent. It's pretty decent. For what it is, it's yeah. pretty decent. Your little Kingdom Hearts little mobile game. It's I'll tell cool. you what, with the leaks coming out, it is, once again, we have discussed this time and time again. Why is it that anyone who gets their hands on a copy of the game just can't find a way to be competent? <sighs> Holy shit. It's that combat not, is, does not look good it when is, people play it who don't know what the fuck they're doing. The thing is, Kingdom Hearts never looks good if you don't know what you're doing. 
yeah kingdom hearts can be like people who say you can mash x and get through the game like yeah watching that is not it's not good it doesn't look interesting but there's so there's so much you can do in the game and especially this one more so than anything especially now like what used to be drive forms where you have to wait to build up your drive gauge and then you pull it off you're just doing summons and transforming all the fucking time your combat and your weapons are just changing all the time and it's fun and it looks sick but the problem is like if you don't do any of that yeah you can still just mash x and watching that is super lame so far from what I've seen, the Pirates of the Caribbean Keyblade is going to be absolutely my favorite to use. No, I'm not going to ask anything about it. Mm. But, um, no. You don't know? I, well, you've seen it. I don't, I, I don't know exactly what the transformations are. Oh, well, um, it but, looks... It's exactly like, I love this weapon type, and the name of it is a reference to a Final Fantasy character. It's so good. The name of it's a reference? The name is a reference. Okay. Well, we, I'll ask. That I will ask you about after the podcast. Sure. But um, no, I'm really excited for, especially with the Keyblade transformations. It's like, you know what? Yeah, give me more Keyblades at that point. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see whatever the Final Fantasy-themed Keyblade will be. What yeah. that could transform into. Maybe it'll just transform into fucking... Buster Sword. It might just be the but or the Masamune. Yeah, why not? Fuck. Yeah. I was gonna just say Squall and and Cloud Swords, but maybe just like oh no, what if it's Lightning's Gunblade? Well, yeah. When <laughs> Lightning, if Lightning's not in this game, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be actually pissed. Um, but uh, yeah, no, Kingdom Hearts three. Very, 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 very excited. Very um, close. Very close. Super close. Yeah, it, oh, so far away. I, 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 I have my hand on my phone all the time, just in case you know they call Square Enix calls and they're like, "Hey, we have a review copy for you to come in and pick up yeah, down Square the street Enix. from where you live." Yeah. <laughs> you know the Square Enix offices. The Square Enix. I think we've said their name so many times it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, mm, but still, maybe that's why they. That's why they're supplier. Yeah, the yeah. distributor is being a piece of shit. They it's heard like, us. It's like, Shh, dude. I want, you to, I want you to play as Lightning in Kingdom Hearts 3. Rave Stormer is r- wrong. Stop it. Please. But um, that's all we have for news. I'll give chat a little bit if they have any questions for our, the Q&A thing. It's kind of hard to keep track of questions coming in because nobody uses the hashtag and the YouTube videos get uploaded late. Yeah. Um, but if you have a question, you can tweet at us at M-A-X-X or at Phil's Her Mang uh, with the hashtag not another question. Um, or you can comment live on the Twitch stream. It's, it will be pretty easy way to see it. Or if you leave a comment on this YouTube video, or yeah, any you know what? YouTube videos, just ask questions in chat, guys. Because that's really the way it's it. going to have to be. Anywhere you want to see it. I usually check either YouTube comments or Twitch chat. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a question for you. Hmm. So hmm. things it, it, things are dire, right? Okay. The anti spirals are descending. All right. You look to the sky with, with your jacket worn like a cape and your six sunglasses, and you, you, you prepare your final ultimate desperation move, and you yell it to the heavens. What is your ultimate final attack name? Cucknado Slam. <laughs> I don't really know what I was expecting. I feel like I I felt the question brewing. Here's the, here's the thing: is like, like, is Cucknado Slam the final version? Because Cucknado Slam almost sounds like you could have been doing that like midway through. The best part is I'm not the one doing it; it's the bull. <laughs> I just like to watch other people fight my rivals, you know. <laughs> Naruto's watching Rock Lee fight Sasuke, and he's like, yeah, get him, Rock Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up. Oh, no, he even uses the Izuna drop. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Rock Lee cucks Naruto. He friend cucks Naruto. Friend cucks him. Super uh, hard, dude. So cool. What about yours? Oh, God. Oh, God, what was it called? You didn't it was come prepared. It, no, I did. It's it, it's It was long. It has to have two X's. It was really long. It has to have um, two X's. You know that, right? 
Yeah, I know. You don't just get no, a it name. Didn't have, it didn't have two X's. Oh, wow. What the fuck? You don't get a name that has two X's and just don't get to use that at, like, random fucking intervals. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Answer the... Max uh, Act not, is, a not pretty, doing, is a pretty strong one. We're not you know, We're not doing a Darkness 2. Let's play. I, I will. Uh, that fuck, was a yeah. joke. Okay. I don't doing care. A Darkness 2. Let's Love play. the game. It I seems will. out of the blue. Yeah, I, I have no opinions on it. I just don't... I'm not interested in doing it. Um... <sighs> I remember the words, but not the order. What are the words? Okay. So Galaxy Buster was a part of it. Okay. Okay. Um, ne oh, no. It, w it, it did have two X's. Okay. It was Neo Maximum Big Bang Galaxy Buster Climax was the name. What a fucking nerd. Climax has two X's and Maximum has two X's. <laughs> <laughs> so there are four X's. That increases the power. Every X you add on increases yeah. the power. It's like it's like when Wonder Red does this and he powers up. <laughs> he, he, he does the thumbs down to thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Can, you've never played Wonderful 101, but that's the sickest no, shit. No, I have played. Wonderful How far? One. Not that far, but I've played it. So your rivals, the there's like a rival team of 100 people. And your transformation, whenever you fight a boss, is they go, like, thumbs down to thumbs up, and their, like, metal masks come on. Okay. Your rivals go thumbs up to thumbs down. Oh, wow. That game is... Oh, Wonderful One is That's so fucking cool. sick. I love that game. I hope it comes to Switch. Please. Kibitor has a question for both of us that says, with Kingdom Hearts coming out, what unique mechanic could you implement into the game that diehards would love and new, pl new players would enjoy? Oh, man. Well, Whenever honestly, a term gets introduced in a cutscene, you can pause it, and then it'll explain the term to you. Oh, uh, well, that's just <laughs> so good. I've got nothing else. Because the way I see it is that, like, the only thing that I can think of is just more battle-like stuff. But um, Honestly, all the new stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3 is kind of what I would say. Like... The only thing I could see that would feasibly make that combat system open wide the fuck up would be character switching. Mo yeah, I think like if if you if you had a situation in which you could uh, not only choose your party but have character switching, I think anyone and everyone would probably do what I would do and just put play fucking Riku all the time. And like just just do that. But like because the way because the way that you because I'm thinking of like back when versus thirteen was shown and. Uh, Basically, they had sh they had shown it as you're in the middle of a combo, and then you switch over to someone else, yeah. and then you start their combo, and it launches the person up, and then you, and then swap, you go yeah. and you swap between people, and it just you know instead of sitting there and necessarily focusing on switching weapons, you're switching characters, which is always it's like a concept that I had for like a character action game, just thinking of where it's like instead of focusing on like several uh, several character or several weapons just have a, several character games no style switching character switching character switching yeah and those characters all play you know wildly differently and you can they could incorporate combos into build on one another excuse me yeah um but yeah in general like a codex would definitely help a long way and it and kingdom hearts does Okay, it has a codex, the thing is, like, but... most people... I don't know anyone besides me who's ever opened Jiminy's journal. I don't know anybody besides me who is going through Kingdom Hearts 2 and actively doing the puzzles at as some, they're getting the puzzles. At some pieces. point, Jiminy is just writing, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. <laughs> it's like, no one's reading this shit anyway. Who gives a <laughs> fuck? Sora's asleep again. Ugh. Oh, man, I was trying to tell you, like, uh, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I really wanted... Because someone brought up the fact that, like, are we ever going to have a podcast trying to explain the storyline... And I figured we have a concept for a show that's yeah. way better than that. Yeah, I can do it too. Like 100%, I'm ready to go. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Kingdom so Hearts is fresh enough in my mind that I could do it. So what do you do? What are you doing? We want to do it next weekend? Uh, Yeah, I work seven days this week. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we, it'll, it'll be, we'll do it. We'll find time. We'll make time. Right. Um, Be on the lookout. Yeah, there are a few series that I have that I could still do. And one I need to brush on. Just want to throw this out there. Jackie Estacado is in Kingdom Hearts. Top counts read by artists and Arthur's in both DC and Marvel and a lot of their characters in it. No, because Marvel's not in Kingdom Hearts. I can definitely spoil that. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh, no. What he's saying is... Uh, I see. Somewhere yeah, in the no. KH universe it is, is it is, Frankie and his nuts. I get it, it. It is the thing where it's like... Yeah, I get the meme. If you, <laughs> if you extrapolate enough, you could connect anything. Um... 
But uh, still actually going to watch anime this season. You're going to hear the OPs. There are a lot of good ones this season. And go, yeah, I'll watch that. And it totally doesn't for what Max will you watch. And I can expect that to happen. I need an anime to grab me so hard that I'd have to there. are be there. 50 every season. Right. And every time I watch uh, like one episode, I go, this is trash. And yeah. I drop it. I I shows. do not I do not like anime. I will come out and say it. That's all you <laughs> anime had to say. sucks. That's all you had to anime say. Anime sucks because it's not Cowboy Bebop and it's not all the old ones that I loved. It all it's all the same old bullshit. If it's not JoJo, it sucks. So you're not. Uh, yeah, I watch Boogie Pop. Wait, Boogie Pop, as in Boogie Pop Phantom, is back. Yeah. What a new series? For when Boogie the fuck Pop. did that happen? You know, if you checked. Okay, well, I'll there watch. are fifty shows every season. Phil. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know Boogie Pop was coming back. Well, Yu Yu Hakusho is also coming back too, so I'll watch Yu Yu Hakusho. It's just a movie. It's an OVA. Is it? Yes. I'll watch it. What if it's new and it's the same thing? I'll watch it. It's like, oh, I gotta shoot a ghost or whatever. You skate. Does. You fucking look me in the eye and tell me that Yu Yu Hakusho ain't the hype of shit. Isn't the quintessential '90s Smile anime? Smile Bomb is playing in my head dun, dun, all dun, the time. Dun, dun, dun. Fuck off! It's so good. Both versions. It's yeah. The best. It's the only good thing Shonen Jump's ever done. Yeah. No. Let's be honest. True. That's not true. Um, I do want to watch Bakano at some point. The thing is, like, I would only watch anime that I know is good. Like, all the new stuff is like... Okay, so My Hero. At some point, I'm going to have to sit down and watch My Hero Academia. Because everyone watches the it. The more you put it off, the more you have to work through. Yeah, exactly. It's... Everyone fucking watches it. And at this point, it, it's just literally anyone who's, who's anyone is like... It is a universal like the thing. it it's isn't like, just like with the you, know, you had the Naruto idiots and the Dragon Ball Z retards over here. It's like everyone can come together well, that's and the thing go. Is no, my hero, really my good. hero, it's not even it doesn't it's not subjecting like it's not redefining the genre. It's just it's the perfect shonen action series. Right. Like it's well not perfect, but it's really solid. As close to perfect as any of them have gotten. It is so a far. shame that the first season is a it's good, but it's not like I, I wouldn't call it fantastic. Right. Like I, I went through it. I powered through it because of all this cool shit I was hearing about season two. Season two was fantastic. Season three was incredible, and I can't believe how much happened. Right. Um, but no, there's again, it, yeah. If you look at it surface level, yeah, every season's gonna have. It's like, yep, yep. Pink haired girl moves to a new town, gets into wacky adventures with her friends. Every season, there yeah. will be at least two or three of those. Right. And that's that's normally what I I like to see. And then it's not that; it's a random mech anime. And uh, if it's not that, it's a random. There's a I remember the span of time where like there was a lot of animes trying to like capitalize off the Blue Exorcist shit. <laughs> a lot of like weird magic animes and stuff like that. Oh, the the magical high school genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the light novel genre. And that yeah, and that's the thing is like those will keep coming out because people keep watching them, and some of them are good, and some of them are not. But oh, you know, every for every time you get something like that, you get something like Zombie Land Saga, right? And it's and Zombie Land Saga is that by and large one of my fucking, favorite animes of, uh, of. And you didn't even get to the good no, parts. No, I just got to the that first show two gets, episodes. That show goes fucking places. That last episode, that season finale is big reveals. Okay. Um, so uh, that is when I will actually sit down yeah. and, and watch sports anime. Yeah. Well, sports anime, yeah, exactly. There's always sports anime, yeah. and the only sports anime that's actually worth watching is free, because you just want to watch those Megalobox, boys kiss. But you know, it's not. I wouldn't call Megalobox sports anime. I, I, it's a boxing anime. I wouldn't really call it sports anime. It's, it's a sport. It's a combat sport. No, it's not. But it's not about the sport. Well, it's not even about. Hmm. Okay, look, it's not a traditional tra sports anime. I don't consider it sports anime. That is that is as close. That's probably shonen, honestly. Box is in the title. You don't get that. No, no. I don't know. Maybe if you finish the show, you'd know. <sighs> There's a part where they just play soccer for six episodes, but you didn't get to that with their shirts off. So it's like free. You know. Oh, that's pretty cute. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't want to look at this yet. Oh, way to go. Um, uh, an isekai. Yeah, there's always isekai. Yeah, and it's that's just, the same thing. There's like, like, like there's Re-Zero. Good, there's isekai, good isekai series, and there's bad isekai series. They're like, just Kon genres. People told me Konosuba was good. I watched the first episode of Konosuba, and the first thing I said was, this is fucking annoying. And I, and I dropped it. I didn't think it was funny at all. I was like, this is dumb. 
No, that show's pretty funny. I don't know what you're well, if it gets better, I'm it sure. Probably, but like, it probably I, gets better. Huh? I, do, I cannot – I don't know what it is. I just cannot sit through shows that don't grab me by the – if the concept doesn't grab me, okay. If the fucking characters don't grab me, whatever. If the animation yeah. is not even good enough to grab me, that's like, why am I fucking here? No. That, Castlevania and, was they, able to do all yeah. of those things at once. And that is not that is something I'm looking for. Yeah. It, it is but not that, that hard. But that – but. I mean, that doesn't happen very often, though. Right. A lot of shows need time. That's why the three-episode rule is so important, because some shows need time to build up steam and set things up. I get that. I don't have time for that. Okay, then you like, shouldn't watch any. Then that's what right. I'm saying. That's right. like, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't I'll stop have... pushing for it. <laughs> I don't have... <laughs> we'll remove that c- category from the opening part. No, you can have it, because it's just that, like, I just... It, 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 if I get the one-episode rule it, 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 with, like... More traditional show, or the three episode rule. More traditional shows. Anime, I just, mm, there's something about anime that's just so fucking stupid nowadays that I cannot, like, it has to grab me. Zombie Land Saga was the perfect example of, like, I like the animation. I like the concept. I like the, the thing. First five minutes, I was, like, in. I, it's not that hard. Not that hard. You just got to keep me. You just got to fucking, in the first ten minutes, if you can show me something that makes that series good, I'm fine. I don't want to fucking sit there and go, well, dedicate an hour Trigun. and a half. Huh? So I don't want to sit there and go, well, it's not Trigun. Well, I didn't like Trigun. Well, it's not an hour and a half. It's an hour. Episode of 22 minutes. I didn't like, well, regardless, it, it's, I'm spending time that I'd rather be doing something else. Yeah. So. That's okay. At least we don't have to change the channel name. Some shows take time. Guys, I get it. I get it, but Castlevania, like, there are shows out there that grip me like this, and it, and it's happened before. There's movie concepts that grip me like this. Like, it, it happens all yeah. the time. Like, it's just that, for me, because, guys, I I don't know if you know this, I'm kind of a stickler for a lot of shit. Uh, I do put up with a lot of stupid shit. I really do. But, honestly, it's just, like, I, I don't see a whole lot of anime nowadays that really pulls me. Like, I had a lot of friends who loved Attack on Titan, I tried watch. I gave Attack on Titan like five episodes, and I was like, "Okay, this is good." And then, like, he came back from the dead. And I said, "I'm dropping this fucking anime." He turned it. Then you realize, "Oh no, it's a mecha show." It's a mecha I show. Forgot. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> dumb and stupid, and I hate it. I don't like anime nowadays. That is, it is it. Here's the truth. I I I take my Weeaboo cross off. All right. I'm sick of it. Please be excited for my new series. Japanese Weeaboo games, Power however, Hour. are fucking killing it, murdering the game industry. Love Japanese games, but anime as a whole can fuck off. There you go. Are you happy now? Do you do you do you have your answer? Do you have your answer, everybody? I hate anime. Here it is. All right. Well, we'll see if your opinion changes in two weeks when I ask you again. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, Phil, why'd you say you don't like Trigon? I haven't watched Trigon in years. I can't say whether or not... I, I was going to say, like you it. never said you didn't like Trigon. I said Trigon. <laughs> I, I say I don't like Trigon because I went back and I watched a few episodes and I was like, ah, okay, this is not as no. good as I remember it. Yeah. But it's also just, I mean, it's older. Yeah. But if like, you want to hear my opinion on, on Quadruple S Grid Man, because I watched that, tune in to the anime stream later on where we're going to be talking about the entire anime se- or year. The whole year for anime in 2018. Yeah. Because I actually watched everything, sort of. All the important ones, at least. Yeah. Um, here's, here's the, here's the play. Weeks, he says, yeah. Here's the play. If 2019 can be the year that anime finds me again, because I need anime like Devilman Crybaby. Devilman Crybaby got me like that. Like, it was, it did not need three episodes. It was a concept that I liked. It was animation that I thought was fucking cool. And the, and I just, was just in there. Like, it doesn't, it, the thing is, is I, I hold things up to a certain level of quality that a lot of seasonal anime doesn't do. Seasonal anime is very much about serving a cycle. I don't like that cycle because yeah, it happens all the time. This is, this is probably the best year for anime, though. Okay, well, like, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, but like, that's, I, I'm just saying that because I know you, you didn't watch everything. But as yeah. someone who did, like, this, a lot of my favorite shows came from this year. This was a very good year. Okay. Well, like I said, I just, you know. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it, is, it is the matter of, like, if this year didn't get you, don't bother. Okay. That's, that's, that's pretty fine. Much, that's pretty much it. That's fine. Um, 
But um, well, yeah, because but everyone's saying in chat like this has been the best in years. Yeah, but all of you are also the same people who fucking try to sell me ReZero and Konosuba, and I was just like, eh. No, oh, well, I don't care about ReZero. Yeah, I refuse to watch it because people tell me to watch it. That's I think that's another reason why I just don't like anime anymore. I have way too many fucking people on my case about it. Oh. Like it's just like I I could I really don't have like. As someone who's like barely even plays video games anymore, like as <laughs> a full time job, I want something that's gonna like really be in there for me. Yeah. Like a, a, if it's not gonna fucking do that, I don't have time for it. Yeah, I I just I I hate to be that guy, but unfortunately, life is not something that I can just preciously fucking waste on. Maybe it'll get good down the line. Like I just I don't do that anymore. If it's not there, I'm not doing it. Yeah. That's not, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm right. No, I'm not saying I'm right. By the way, so everyone already knows, as as you are already in fucking chat. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying, for me personally, yeah. I don't have fucking time. Yeah, I you know I work fucking 14 hours a goddamn day. I don't have fucking time for it. I got I go home. I have other shit I'm gonna do. Like that's it. Like <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, yeah, no. If if you okay, I get it here. You give me a list. Top 10 anime. You give me this list. Make it a video. Give me this list no. on top 10 anime. Boo. Make it a video. Boo. Bad plan. Bad plan. No. Boo. Make it a video. Top 10 anime 2018. Let I'll watch it. I wasn't going to put them in a I'll list. I'll watch it. And I'll watch all of those animes. I'll do it. I'll make a blood pact. And good. Because you of, and still if I me like, for gorillas. I do. At least I, all of that. Right, but the gorillas is good. Um, Damn, yikes. <laughs> if you if you do that, I will watch at least five of them. You've the, already backed down. I've already I'm already you f- are making the, the back f- down the back down inning. I will watch every show as long as I only have to watch three of them. Yeah. And only the first twenty minutes of two of them. No, I don't have to do this, but I want to. Okay. Because you know what? If you're if you are saying it's the best year in anime, I, will, I I trust you. I hold your opinion very I, high. I will have to tailor it to your taste then. I hold your opinion super high. So if you are yeah. telling me this is the best year in anime, I have to believe you. Yeah. So you know. Who, who is <laughs> video editing software video cache? <laughs> oh boy. It's not uh, us. Not us, no. Not us. We don't even we have none of those. You should watch Soul Eater. I actually did like Soul Eater. For as basic and generic as it was, it was it was fine. I don't get you. <laughs> this podcast is over. No, I didn't Thanks watch all watching. Soul Eater. I just liked the first episode. I was like, eh, it's, it's fun. It's cute. It's cute. I'll move yeah. on. There's there's the one where it's like, I'll I'll, I'll sit down and I'll watch. i like, that's cute. I, I wonder if that'll go somewhere. I can't believe this guy sat down even brought up Blue Exorcist. I'm still reeling. No, I didn't – look, I didn't watch no, fucking No, no, I'm Blue just Exorcist. saying I can't believe somebody brought up Blue Exorcist Oh, well, I'm general. just saying there was a moment in time that I knew I had a lot of friends who were, were in the anime, were and they about, they were into Blue Exorcist, that's super and there was fucking this huge weird. – Because Blue Exorcist is nothing. It's a big nothing. Well, I know it's not, like, super popular. I, I've seen all of it, and I don't know why. I think back when I was in high school, I, like, started reading the manga. Yeah. Because for free, because I would just go hang out at Barnes and Noble, and I remember like not even liking it, but I just remember like, oh, I used to read that, so I guess I'll watch this like last year or two years ago, and yeah. just okay, yeah, that just, is that that is that was empty calories, right? That's what that was, right? And and that's 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 what I feel because here's my list of of top anime I've always watched: Bebop, uh, Serial Experiments Lane, Boogie Pop Phantom. Outlaw Star is on there as one of my favorite stupid animes. It's not good, but I know it's dumb and it's fun as fuck. Because no other anime will give me an anime where spaceships battle with arms. That's just a mech. Yeah, but it's (laughs) just a ship. It's literally just a rocket ship with arms. It's stupid. I love it. Um, But like for the most part, I like a lot of Satoshi Kon's work. I like a lot of really cerebral shit. Gurren Lagann, I, I always give like a... Okay, Gurren Lagann is the most insane anime ever. One of the most insane animes ever. And Kill la Kill I, I enjoyed because it, it, was, it came out at the time it. that I needed just a stupid, fun anime. Um, 
Yeah, in the, now the prequel season. Well, the thing is that Boogie Pop is super slow too, and I'm and I'm the kind of guy who who I was giving Red Dead shit about being slow, but I I just feel like it it pacing has to, you know to be better in certain forms of media. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just like really cerebral shit. And guess what's not cerebral? Anime. Guess what could? Oh god. Oh god. I'll talk about it later. I we we'll we'll wrap this up. Um, oh, but you want to talk about 2019 at all? We did. Now that we yelled at me. Yeah, but now we're here again. This is what I'm saying. I left it at the end. Why wouldn't we start when we went from 2018 to 2019? We're canceling the, the podcast. I don't even know what's coming out. That's the thing about 2019. I know the dates for Devil May Cry and Kingdom Hearts. There's a lot coming out. Everything else is a mystery. Well, there's a lot coming out. So my plan is just like, oh, that came out. I guess I'll pick that up. I'm just trying to get as much con. I'm trying to get as much podcast out of you before you fucking like dodge me for another two weeks again. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I'm trying to get as much out of you as possible because to have to sit you down and get a podcast is like, oh well, I'm I'm uh, jerking off exclusively for between the yeah. hours of seven and ten today. Yeah. To the spy and the spice theme, <laughs> like just the song. Oh my god. Oh man. But um, but yeah. That is that is our podcast. Thank you for watching, listening. It's a, it's an audio one. Um, this will be going up on YouTube as well as episode nineteen. Um, uh, very 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 soon, if not tomorrow, then on uh, what day is it? Saturday. Yeah. Then on Monday. Um, stay tuned. I'm probably gonna take a break because I haven't eaten anything, but we'll be coming back. I don't know what I'll be playing when we talk about the anime for 2018. Um. Other big things, again, Resident Evil 2 is coming out soon. I imagine Phil is going to stream a good amount of that. Mm -hmm. um, Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm not personally doing anything with it. We are doing a run of Cavern of Remembrance and Kingdom Hearts 2. I um, will be doing a Kingdom Hearts beginning stream. If yeah. that goes anywhere or become people actually show up to it, I will probably be streaming most of my Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Yeah. If nobody shows up, I will not be streaming my Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Yeah, but you, I know people will be here for Resident yeah. Evil Two, so I'll be yeah. doing a lot of Resident yeah. Evil Two. When Cage Three, when Cage Three comes out, you'll know because this TV will be in my room. Um, before everybody leaves, or you can all leave and kind of listen to it on YouTube. Uh, I do want to take a moment to actually sit down and talk about the channel and like actually have a genuine update. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I will say for me, I'm assuming Max will say in the same vein. Uh, we make a lot of jokes about not having any content. We understand and we appreciate the fact that there are still people who are subscribed and there's still people on the Twitch stream who come over and are here all the time. Yep. We heavily apologize that we haven't had an actual video in a while. Um, and that's mainly in due part to the fact that 2018 was a very weird year for both of us. Yeah. Um, super strange fucking year. And a lot of it was, I mean, I moved two or three times, essentially. I was not in my, my own place. And now that we're finally, like, settled down, now that we actually have something to be, somewhere to be a base of operations, I've been talking with Max a lot about really kind of sitting down and, and doing something with the channel because we enjoy the idea of it. We enjoy streaming. We enjoy all of it. And we, we know that at some level we would like to add more to the general content creation dynamic that yeah. is going on out there and we appreciate everybody's patience and i you know there's no other excuse for it other than just unfortunately real life really hit me with a swerve ball last year when i got kicked out of my fucking you know place of residence and had to effectively bounce over to a friend's place for a little bit and then find this place yeah so we are definitely going to try to make 2019 the year. 2018 was supposed to be the year. Once again, February, really a lot of bad shit happened for yeah. me personally. No. I um, got I got mostly hit at the end. But, yeah. Um, yeah no. <laughs> Which is why we, once again, didn't have the podcast because Max was experiencing it's, his fair share of bullshit yeah. that thankfully we are all finally like. Yeah. 20, 2019 can start now. Yeah. On January 10th. That is the new, 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 new year start date. <laughs> January twelfth. What day? Is it? Uh, what we do. So the reason why we didn't, I don't want to talk about the twenty nineteen thing is I do have a script for a twenty nineteen uh, games coming out this year. It is lengthy. It is going to be a pretty long video. I'm sorry, Max. That's, Max is already that's, frowning. That's fine. Um, 
but I, I do, do want to like kind of go over some of the, the games that are coming out that we're going to be excited for and probably be playing on the channel. Yep. So uh, aside from that, we may even be talking about expanding our stuff to not traditional Let's Play stuff, but like having content from the streams that we can go here. We have another a show that we think we've been shooting around yeah, for. We alluded to in the uh, past as well. It's, and we'll just go ahead and reveal it now because at some point it'll happen. Uh, uh, six shots deep, me and Max get really fucking drunk and just go over a topic. It's like a podcast except it's just one solid topic and we're just going to be fucking obliterated. Yeah. And so we figured for the first time we do that, it'll be trying to explain the Kingdom Hearts storyline. Uh, yeah, so we will... Um... <laughs> We'll see, we'll see how that goes. That might be a train wreck. We'll see if you guys ever see that. That's something that is very easy for oh, us no, to Oh, no, we're live we'll streaming it. We're, uh, we're live streaming it, and we're just going to fucking take bits and pieces from it and make a video from oh, it. Oh, God. We're just we're live streaming it. It's going to be f- purely live. Oh, no. So. But, um, yeah. That'll, it'll, go, it'll go coincide with your Cave of, uh, Cave of Remembrance playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I got to play through Cave of Remembrance on critical mode. While blasted, while also talking about the mm-hmm. lore. Yeah. Right. So, once again, guys, much love to all of you. Yeah. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for donating. Thank you for bits. Thank you for everything. YouTube, Twitch. Hope to have 2019 actually be the year the hipsters finally do stuff on they purpose. Finally, get the bread. Almost content. Almost <laughs> coming your way, and I'll keep going until Max shut, shut, tells shut me he up. can hit the button. No, don't say it. Don't tell them. Oh, no, breaking don't, kayfabe. Don't, don't tell them. Breaking it's kayfabe. Oh, shit. Fuck. Hold on. Uh, we'll so be, for everyone else at home, we'll be right back with uh, more Max talking about anime. What time is it? Eight? Oh, fuck. Maybe we won't do this tonight. Who oh, knows? wow. I'll keep you posted. All Thanks right. for watching. Bye. Bye.